Ticks, ticks active. Wow. Unimax is enraged, but he's doing nothing. Holmes is free. Uh, Holmes is free. Here it's it an comes. active skill. Is oh, the dove. Carrie dodge though, but she's taunted. Not doing. Oh, Unimax is dead, but it's not. Nah, that's done. That's, that's done. Yeah. Oh my God. The men oh, is down. down. But his Garuda has energy. Stewie's oh, doesn't. Oh, but did he get that? No, he didn't. Holy Ooh. crap! Big damage. If the carry comes back and locks it's... down the Garuda, carry's about to come back. That's enough deaths. She's here. Is she going to go first? She is. Does she oh. get the mark? No! no she, she, didn't. she didn't steal the energy. It's going to be curtains. It is. Oh, oh wow. Garuda's going to get a massive active skill. Holmes is in the death zone. If Garuda's active skill hits Holmes, this is going to be so different. As long as Mim lives. Mim, petrifying, big heal from Andrea. That's going to make a difference. But the active skill... Mim dead, but Fiona's down. Oh, yeah, so no shields to worry about. Still healing from Andrea. We need to see a massive, massive active skill from Garuda. Absolutely everything rides here. It didn't crit. Oh, my word. But Holmes is still down anyway. This could be a draw. Unimax could clutch. If, if, if Andrea dies, Garuda heals. God. It could Jeez. be a draw. That's it. It's a draw. Boktosh gets the win. Our first to move is the Nakia, slowing down the backline, which is awful for Tix as well. It's slowing him down even more. Oh, my word. And there goes Tix. Yep. That's all, that'll do it. Cruz not even triggering again. And then here comes Holmes, who goes, yeah, don't worry. I'll target him. I'll dub him in the process so he doesn't trigger. Lots of doves out there. Sarja getting the kill. Already some damage hitting on BB there. BB's lost his Fiona. And now we're going to see a lot of damage over time here. Watch BB's team fall over. Yep. Oh, just exploded. Sherlock is going to have to clutch this, but here comes Garuda. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Hello and welcome to the finals of the February 2024 Idol Heroes 10 Star Cup, the Lunar Festival. Idol Heroes 10 Star Cup. I'm here with Smeegs. How you doing, Smeegs? Oh, never better. Finals time in the IHXC. Absolutely. I'm excited, man. We've got eight teams, some crazy stuff going on, and we've already had some community content, would you believe it, that's been submitted oh. by people. Yeah, yeah. So um, remember that fight we had with D-Dragon? where it blew yes, all of our yes, minds. Yes. D-Dragon went away, montaged the fight, explaining why he won each battle, and explaining how jammy it was. That interaction, right, for right. example, you know you know when the, well, the Vulcan got health swapped, and then Azrael killed him. Um, yeah, yeah. Weird stuff like that, just basically... And turns out the reason that happened is because when a Vulcan is on defense, um, you, of course, have the... Uh, defender's disadvantage so it means mm -hmm. when the vulcan hits azrael and sherlock's abilities will trigger first because all the attackers passives will trigger before the defender uh, of course which so, means you'll get the the health swap out of sherlock and the uh, the damage yeah and then azrael triggers and because of where they're ordered in the team like this is a tiny interaction that i didn't even think of that if, <laughs> if because sherlock is before azrael in the team sherlock's health swap happens before azrael's passive which is like your team order matters so much it's like it's like tiny tiny meta detail and, and, and d dragon explained this and i was like you wow. cheeky bastard yeah, like these tiny things that can be the difference between a win and a loss. It's it's bonkers, um, <laughs> and, and I love to see it. I love to see you know D Dragon putting up that content. And um, awesome. yeah, he also calculated how much damage his uh, carry did to the Vulcan. So that Vulcan that was crowd controlled for ages and ages and just fed energy, fed energy, fed energy. Yeah, uh, he worked out that that Vulcan had five active skills worth of energy inside him. Oh, yeah, crap. over seven thousand percent of attack damage. The right. carry just did to him, which I think he, he matted out was like seven ticks active skills, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> I was like, oh nice. my God. Or was it five ticks active skills? One of the two, something, something to do with ticks is active. It could have been, it could have been that it was five, five, like enough energy for it to be five ticks active skills worth of that worth of damage, Ugh. which is crazy. It's absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, and we got to see more. That? Is that on YouTube or the, the Discord? Yeah. Or I, I think, did I was sent to me. 
um, through a DM over Discord. Uh, so yeah, if D Dragon, if you're watching, I'm sure he is. Uh, if you want to put that in our, we have a little page on Discord for community content. Uh, if you don't have permission, um, go ahead and uh, and and I'm sure one of the mods will give you permission to share that or a link, and they'll put it in our community content. If you guys want to check that out, um, we can do that. So yeah, I I'll love to see people making content in relation to the iCheckC. It's a very niche content form you're not going to become the world's yeah. greatest youtuber on the back of it <laughs> i can promise you that but that's a lot of fun it is fun indeed so we're ready to come see these teams we have eight competitors here which have made it through to the finals which is exciting so let's go take indeed, a look indeed. at the bracket so we have in the losers these are people who have lost one match already and if they lose another, they are eliminated. We're going to be seeing Scribe versus Flamin. That's our first match. And then Meza versus Moptosh. So that's interesting. Um, it's going to be two very cool matchups. And then we bring our attention mm -hmm. to the top. And we get to see D-Dragon once again, the folk we were just talking about against Mr. Wheels. Both of them undefeated so far. Completely 3 0 their opponents. And mm -hmm. then we have mm -hmm. Steven and Willy Wildboy. Willy Wildboy also very, uh, very solid, undefeated. Uh, but Steven had a pretty tough matchup against Moptosh. But then again, if you're going to struggle against anyone, Moptosh is a previous champion. <laughs> so yeah, there's no disrespect there that he's the only one in winners that's lost so far. But you lost to one of the best IHXers in the tournament. Yeah. So, Well, he didn't even Fair lose. He, he won. Uh, well, yes, he did. He did, <laughs> he did just thing. about win with a 4-3 victory. It was very close. Um, but yeah, it's, it's those defensive wins that did it for yeah. him. Very it was good. one of the best fights uh, we've seen this tournament. Yeah, yeah, it's been a very uh, a longer tournament. Yesterday went a lot longer than we thought it would because some of the fights just either went on till round fifteen yeah. or just it was grindy, and grindy defensive stuff. I think we had f uh, four or five occasions where we surpassed round fifteen. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was crazy. A lot of people opting for Andrea, so these tankier sustain yeah. style teams are, are yeah. definitely very popular. I told you, man, this is a sustain meta. <laughs> yeah <laughs> who knew it's it's now we've got technically two golden crowns right we have auspicious lucky cat and golden crown um i don't we haven't seen many teams run both of them simultaneously but it's it's cool to see that that that's an option for well people there. speaking of that mm. uh our first fight actually has golden crown and auspicious lucky cat it does it's flamen's yeah. lineup i believe indeed uh, it, so let's go take a look at this. We have Scribe, who is rocking what he can only describe as the highlights of last tournament. He literally just used an, uh, the, the equivalent of a, basically, spreadsheet to just calculate, okay, what were the most popular choices in the top eight? And just built a team using that. Very interesting strat. The classics. Yeah, exactly. And then we have Flamin, who has brought... Uh, pretty interesting lineup. Uh, he's he's had some really tough matchups. Uh, D Dragon, as we said, you know there were some clutch D Dragon moments with mm. the um, with the health swaps and all the weird interactions. D Dragon actually saying he's scared of Flamin, and he says the three O was a fluke, which is yeah, uh, interesting. Yeah. And um, the only Vulcan of the tournament. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Honestly, I thought we'd see more Vulcans this time around, but but no. He, and uh, maybe maybe that's the thing. Maybe that was a meta call. People just saying with Betty and the crowd control, with with all the energy steal and all the people specifically putting in heroes to counter Vulcan. A lot of people mm. moved off of mm. him. In fact, we see more Russells this time around than Vulcan, and I think it's because Dazzle is so good. Yeah, well, there's only been two Russells this tournament and one Vulcan, so yeah. I think both of them have have dropped off a fair bit. Um, yeah, I think we say that though. All the teams well, running them are in the top eight. Very true. Yeah, they're not they're not bad by any means. Uh, I think it's just everyone predicted too many people would be running Forkus, and and, uh, and that's been true. Throw way around it. Yeah, Forkus as popular as Carry, I would say this tournament, which is no surprise. And, and the funny thing I've seen is the Carry builds continue to be very different. We've seen Ruby Scepter mm -hmm. carries, we've seen Elusive Mirror carries, we've seen AMB carries, all sorts of different carries. Um, and uh, yeah, that's going to be something to talk about with this fight we've got with Scribe and Flamin. Is Flamin's carry yeah. is always going to be faster? Elusive Mirror is quicker than Augustus Magic Ball, so that'll be an interesting Absolutely. thing to see. Um, yeah, I I, well, I think Flamin's got this fight. You know, I think this is going to be Flamin's to lose. Well, the first the thing that stands out to me is uh, Flaming isn't running Focus, which immediately means Scribe's uh, Ticks and Russell get a free pass. Very true. Yeah. And, 
Russell is starting with energy. Yes. However, I think the elusive mirror carry, um, because uh, if you don't know, Tix, Russell, and carry are all 12 E teen speed. So that elusive mirror is going to put in big work on that carry. So there's a high chance yeah. that Flamin's carry can shut down that Tix and Russell, which is which is very nice. That's a very strong. Well, you uh, you very option. much hope so. But then yeah. you've got the I think Orcus is faster than carry, correct? Correct. Yes. Which means that Orcus will be going first every time. Yeah, and uh, I I see that that Orcus might be a problem for Flamin's Vulcan. That's the thing. That's the biggest concern. And as we um, saw, once you shut down the Vulcan, there's not much more damage coming out of that team. Yeah, so Scribe's definitely got a lot more damage pressure, I think. Uh, Flamen, mm. if the Vulcan gets up and passes through, that's fantastic. We've got Scribe, who has Russell, but Flamen opting for Ignis and Sherlock as lowest HP. So what we'll see is the Dazzle end up on both of them, which is going to be horrible. And from Sherlock. Yeah, so Sherlock's going to reflect it. Now, that works in two ways, where we're going to see the reflect from the Sherlock, which is excellent, because that's going to put Dazzle onto Scribe, which could cause him problems. But then it also could have the added problem for Flamin that it's going to use one of Sherlock's magic cards, mm. which means the health swaps won't be as consistent, and there's a likelihood that the Sherlock could die um, a yeah. little easier. Well, you're going to have to deal with um, yeah, reflecting the Dazzle, uh, Betty's Twine coming out, uh, Forcus's mark, uh, mm. Tex's horrify, yeah, Russell, yeah. The... and then Russell putting out more dazzle every round. Yeah, yeah every so there's rounds. a there's a there's a lot to, to, to for both teams to have to deal with here, and, and, and I think I think it's gonna be it's it's gonna be tight. I think I I, I think I, I, but I do think Flamen's carry is gonna be is gonna be the difference. I think if that think, carry gets a good energy steal, I think the carry is gonna prove very good. But I think there's just I think Flaming's only got the one uh, damage pressure hero, and if that's shut down, he doesn't you know, have much else. He doesn't have like that Azrael carry combo hanging in there. Uh, whereas Scribe's got Russell, he's got Ticks. Mm. Forkus can do damage. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, yeah. it's going to be an interesting one. Let's go ahead and send it in then with Scribe as our attacker. And let's see if he's going to perform as we expect, or if Flamen can actually clutch this one. Let's go. So I'm going to say all eyes on that carry to begin with. That's going to be the main mm. thing I want to see. That focus is faster though, marking quite a few heroes. And Missing oh wow, That's big. yeah, he hit ticks though, which is nice. Good job, carry there, uh, Betty. Yeah, also. Russell. yeah Russell, Russell in the yeah. air. That is terrifying. Can the Fiona's shields tank this Russell hit? It might do. We do have a crown on the Vulcan, so I think the Vulcan's going to yeah, be fine, but he's I twined. Think... Ooh, twined, hit by carry. Oh, so he's going to yeah. lose all his energy. That's true, that's true. And I think... Oh, my word. Yeah, big, oh. big, big. But yeah. this is this is sort of the scenario you need. Yeah, this is, this is looking twined, great. Though. Oh, the double dove, that's big. Really big. And Scribe oh, is... You're looking fantastic here, really. He's still got shields. That Sherlock's dead. Yeah, totally. And, and I think there's nothing Vulcan can do here. He's just way too nah. controlled. That's dead. Very yeah. decisive win. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, you see, we saw really big Vulcan actives yesterday, and to see Russell do a similar thing, it just goes to show both of them are absolutely phenomenal heroes. Mm. And as I said, I'm surprised we didn't see more of this tournament. I think a lot of people were just scared to bring him. As you said, Forkus is a terrifying hero, but Flamin, yeah. Flamin opted not to bring Forkus. That could be his downfall here. Yeah, absolutely. The The thing that, that um, well, I only realized at this tournament is it, Forkus even triggers like the monster buffs that are put on heroes. <laughs> yeah. Which is insane. Like we saw, I think we saw... It might have been Flamin's lineup um, yesterday. The Vulcan uh, just keel over because uh, the holy damage buff got put on it. Absolutely, yeah. So there's there's all sorts of weird things that have happened with with Forkus, and I, I think he's gonna uh, be. I think he's gonna be a mainstay. I think we're gonna see Forkus on a lot more teams moving forwards. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it I wouldn't know. have been Flamin because it was someone who was running the dragon pet. I don't know who that was. Yeah, yeah. I I can't remember, but it was it. Yeah, it was crazy. We we, we see it a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it just goes to show that 
the, the focus, honestly. I think Elusive Mirror is what made people think, oh, okay, focus is fast. And uh, he's, 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 you know, it's a solid he's hero. Very active. Yeah, and, and we can just give him Elusive Mirror and just mark all the opponents before we even get started. And it works great. It's really solid. Yeah. All right, let's see how Flamin does on the attack this time. Let's put Scribe in the defensive. Scribe wins this. That's a defensive win for Scribe, which is exactly what he wants. But you never know. Absolutely. Flamin could have some tricks up his sleeve. Let's see. So let's see if well, Carry gets time, lucky this time. Yeah, well, last time Forkus missed uh, Vulcan, which he doesn't this time. No, he gets him. And Carry stealing Carrie, from Russell. Fantastic. Big, but missing ticks. Yeah, so Tix is going to get through here. And that's the strength of running... Oh, Huge. Yeah, Twine is fantastic here. That's one of the weaknesses of uh, heroes like Tix and Russell. They are both slower than Betty's when Betty has Receptor. Yeah, but here comes Carrie. Indeed. Needs to miss that Vulcan. Um, no. Oh, wow. Carrie didn't oh. even steal it. She hit him, but she didn't get the mark. That's the inconsistency of Carrie coming into play there. Oh, this will be interesting. I think Vulcan and Russell will go up in the air at the same time. That oh, is true. Sort of yeah, and, and Russell is dazzled. I think he will remove that at the end of the round. Although, yeah, Vulcan's not looking good. That's low health. So I wonder yeah. if there's a way that that Vulcan could die. Oh, early. Okay. Healing. oh, Ignis, never mind. Healing him up. Big damage there. <laughs> Russell tanks it. Yeah. Oh, this could be amazing. The damage, the damage um, reduction. Yeah. And carries back. Carries back. Oh, this Can't is steal exciting. energy from that. Stealing energy from Vulcan too. Yeah. Bang. Ooh, Sherlock's health swap could come in real clutch here. Yeah, if he survives the arrows. Which he doesn't. No. Wow. Oh, this is... And there's a oh, ticks dude. mark on that carry as well. This is brutal. However, I'm looking at that energy steal on Russell. That's probably going to one-shot yeah. him. But this is going to be um, close. The poke. I think the poke's going to get it here because ticks end around damage on that Vulcan. Yep. Oh, doesn't, doesn't even, even need, need it. it. Oh, the poke, the arrows. <laughs> arrows are disgusting. That's what I love about Russell. I said it I said it last tournament, you know, lowest HP getting hunted by those arrows is fantastic. Um, Drake, mm. uh, you know, only makes that easier. No one opting for Russell Drake as a combo this time around, but still we see um, those arrows putting in real good work, which is actually, that's a defensive mm. win for Scribe. That's so good for yeah. him. And like Vulcan, Flamen, Vulcan is active, but... But uh, Russell was in the air by then. Yeah. And if you look at the healing numbers as well, Ignis' death really working great for the Vulcan. Because the Vulcan was such low health as well. Yeah, well, Ignis died energy-fed Vulcan, but he had Carrie's mark on him. Yeah. Well, he was already in the air by that point as well. So... Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go send it in. I think it's now... This is Scribes to win, pretty much. He's a uh, 2-0 up against Flamin with a defensive win. So mm. it's literally, Flamin, can you do this? Good luck to you, mate. You're going to need it. He's yeah, going to get everything three fights right. back to back. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Scribe's got a huge advantage here. Just needs one win. So Who's watch again. Uh, yeah, he misses Vulcan. That's what you need. Yeah, that's good for Flamin. Where's the energy steal from Carrie I'm going? It's that. not not hitting Russell yet. Oh, and the oh, Betty again. Vulcan. Yeah, and Russell is, in the air. This is the thing. Poor Flamin. His, his Vulcan has been bullied by Betty's for the whole tournament. Yeah. Betty has been so good. I, I, I think we're going to see Betty on almost all teams moving forwards because she's just so strong. Yeah. And the Twine is so consistent with a Receptor on there too. Yeah, if you just, you've got to. Wow! Yeah. What an active. Well, Lord. Sherlock's going to die here. Oh, no. Health swap. Big. That's clutch. That's really big. Yep. And Vulcan what we've got now... He just needs yeah. to break free. Absolutely. If that Vulcan can get in the air, that's fantastic. One thing I'm surprised is that Fiona's dead. She might have been able to free the Vulcan. Yeah. Oh, oh, health swap again. Health on focus yeah. this time. Yeah, beautiful. And with that carry mark, focus is so dead. Oh, yeah, he's down. Vulcan's free. Vulcan's free. Excellent. This could be Flamens here. He's got to watch out for those arrows from Russell, though. Yeah, but this again, again, Vulcan's going to jump in the air and then Russell is. True. Sherlock's dead. So it all comes down to whether Vulcan does this. It's it's not going to make a difference. 
uh, Russell's going to be in the air. True, and we've got the shields here from Lion. Not that we need them. We're already pretty high. Dia does heal Vulcan, which is helpful. Oh, never oh. mind. Wow. That was a brutal active skill from Tix right there. That was nasty. That was... <laughs> That's it. Vulcan Ow. was just too low HP, even with the Golden Crown and his air buffs, he still was dead. That is that such was, a devastating that loss. Was Two million damage from Tix, all yeah. focused on that Vulcan. You hate to see it, Flamin. I'm so sorry, my dude. Absolutely massacred. Three O sweep, Flamin, with a really solid team. You know, he's got all the good stuff here. There's there's Betty. There's there's Carrie. Even the Fiona was really good. I just think there's some some just minor difficulties that just ended up being too much. And I think we saw it here. Honestly, I think Vulcan could be on his way out. He's just got way too many weaknesses. Such a good yeah. hero if he gets the active. It's but, too long for the wind-up. Yeah. Way too long. Ah, oh, it's a shame. That's such a shame. Russell, um, Russell is, is solid. I mean, I guess he's, he's super vulnerable to Forkus. Mm. But when he gets going, like those, like he just needs that active, and then the damage pressure from his arrows every attack. Yeah, it's just insane. And I think that's why we don't see many Russells here because everyone expected Forkus. But that's mm. the thing, like Russell, if he's not against a Forkus, is terrifyingly good. And yeah, Flamin, Flamin didn't bring Forkus, which just gave Scribe a free pass. And that's the thing, he's got to rely on that carry to steal energy. What are the odds that he gets both of Tix and Russell? It's actually, it's pretty low because Carrie's got to get the mark. So already, even if she hits, there's a chance mm. she fails. And she only hits four people, so there's still a chance she misses entirely. It's 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 hard to hit both. And with a melodic strings on Tix, it's greedy, but you saw how mm. much damage it, it It plucked a Russell out the sky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not a Russell, sorry, a Vulcan. Yeah. Uh, oh, we saw so it yesterday. Uh, I think we saw a vault. Uh, it might have been. I think it was. It was Russell. We saw get uh, wiped from midair. From, I, th I think it was another Tix active. Uh, yeah, it's, it's 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 something like that. Tix, Tix is strong. Tix is strong, and, and mm. Tix is one of those interesting heroes. He's not one of those instant picks. Like you don't see people going, "Oh, I've got to have Tix on my team." But then yeah. the amount of times you can look at a team and be like, "I could I just swap this hero for a Tix." would it make the team better? And I think that's the full process you have to go with every single hero. At least that's what I do when I'm building a team for the IHXC mm. is I look at my lineup and I go, is there any hero I would rather have than this hero? If the answer is yeah. yes, I am making the switch. I, 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 I'm I not here for gimmicks, right? It's like, okay, if, if I can, the gimmick is like, you'll probably pick two heroes to be a weird combo, right? And then the rest of the lineup, you've just got to be strict. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. The, yeah, it's, it's just... Again, because Tix is one of those heroes that is, you know, countered hard by Forkus. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, it's, and... yeah, it's that balancing act. Yeah, and I think that was Flamin's weakness, just no Forkus. You know, the Scribe mm -hmm. brought a whole team weak to Forkus, and Flamin didn't bring him. And that's it. That's yeah. the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you take that risk, you bring a lineup that's weak to one hero, you face a team that doesn't have that hero, and it gives and you, you an instant advantage. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's the thing. You, you see this in all sorts of competitive games where the people will say, oh, this character's bad because they get hard countered. But in in this particular style of tournament, once you've yeah. locked your team in, you can't change it. Yeah, you, you can't, can't, you can't it. counter pick. No, that's, that's yeah. So you, you've just got to be ready for everything. And I see you'll, you'll see that with a lot of lineups. That, that There's lineups you'll look here and be like, that's a really weird team. Why have you got these things? And it's because you're trying to cover all your bases. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and you'll find as well, sometimes it's the, it's the greedy teams. It's the teams that don't try to cover all their bases and just go, you know what? I'm going to pray for good matchups because <laughs> that <laughs> sometimes the bracket yeah. is the thing you need. Yeah, well, our, our next lineup, um, uh, actually, well, yeah, they, they built their team specifically to, well, not specifically, but they chose some heroes to uh, counter Vulcan. Indeed, Moktosh and, bringing up Michelle. And, well, the only Vulcan of the tournament has been eliminated. Yeah, so so now Moktosh feels a bit phony because he's like, I've got this Michelle, and this Michelle's done nothing. Like, like, because the idea is that the Michelle can resurrect when uh, just take take the Vulcan hit 
and then clutch the win. Because the idea is that yeah. once Vulcan's done his active, what the heck is a Vulcan going to do? He's just going to sit there and flounder. And and Moptosh is looking for that continuous damage over time from the wall deck. And Michelle's there to basically come back to life so that when wall deck gets yeah. killed by the Vulcan active, the, the and then you just stuff. have the yeah the continuous pressure from the Delysium, Azrael. Yeah, and and then because the, in there with Andrea. exactly because you 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 take that Vulcan active, Michelle is guaranteed to resurrect, and then that buys you time for Azrael and Carrie to resurrect, which then gives yeah. you a team back, and 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 then you can energy steal the Vulcan with the carry. It's a really clever idea to counter Vulcans like that, but yeah. they just haven't been any. That's the thing. There's just not been any. Yeah. So interesting. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this one goes against Mez's lineup, which you know is the classic Mim uh, Suicide Squad. Yes, uh, which is something that Moptosh originally pioneered. So Moptosh almost <laughs> fight. We've, we've said it before. This has happened multiple times now, where Moptosh has had to fight his own child um, <laughs> so many times now in the IHXC because people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pe people love these suicide teams, and and D Dragon got to the finals with one last yeah. time. We, we've seen a suicide team win the IHXC. It's a very popular strategy, and it continues to perform well. So a Absolutely. mid team here with ticks with Waldeck, carry no Azrael, which is unfortunate because I think Azrael is such a good hero this tournament. Um, mm. But uh, but yeah, I'm 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 excited to see which way this one goes. I, I think. I think Moptosh has the advantage here with the Andrea heels, but you never know. Mim, HP, HP crown, that guy is sticky. It could prove a problem. Mim is, Mim is strong. Um, the Delacium, I think these are the only two Delaciums in the tournament matching up, so there's that. Yeah. Uh, the Betty could prove a big problem. Mm -hmm. Azrael and Carry can't do much if they're locked down with Twine. Yeah. So there's a lot here that could be going on. Um, those carries, their speed tied. Elusive Mirror and Ruby Scepter are the same speed, so that's good to see. And um, even the Waldex are tied. It's Attack, Attack, Demon Bell versus Holy Skill, Magic Source. I think they're fairly even. Um, yeah. But we, we've seen Moptosh's strat is that HP, HP, Auspicious Cat, Delisium just to stay alive. And it's one of these double crown teams. Or well, you've got Cat on the Delisium, you've got Crown on the Andrea. It's two really tanky yeah. heroes. And Andrea only increases that damage reduction further. And Delisium yeah. continues Waldex damage over time. Yeah, there's no well, the only CC here is well, you've got Michelle, who is mm -hmm. notoriously inconsistent. <laughs> um you've got I I guess Carrie's or her uh mark but other than that there's no real cc coming from moptosh it's just no. hang in there with the anchor and hope the rest of the team can uh whittle down yeah so we'll just have to see what happens really i think i think we're gonna see a lot of damage over time from moptosh and it's whether that's enough to burn through meza and take mm. down that mim that's the real question if if, if mim falls meza's gone because meza doesn't really have much sustain so yeah it's whether Moptosh's Andrea can heal through the Mim. And I think I think it will. I, I, Andrea heals when heroes die. Mim damages you when heroes die. And I think they're going to counter each other out. I think Moptosh is going to win this. So. Yeah, well, Moptosh himself says Betty isn't an issue for his team, which, um, yeah, yeah, I guess... Well, Moldex's main damage source. Dots, yeah, once you got the dots uh, racking up, it, it, yeah. it doesn't matter. But I guess... It's whether or not they can be shut down soon enough. Yeah. Well, well, the thing is, Waldeck damage over time is when he's dead. Delacium continues that by just being alive. Yeah. Azrael damages when he's dead. Andrea heals just by existing. A lot of this team, it just does things for existing. And then you've got pure control mm. immunity on Michelle, so that's not even going to matter. Uh, and Carrie dodges or Carrie dies, resurrects. Yeah, yeah, I think he's absolutely right. I think And, and Carrie outspeeds Betty as well, so Carrie doesn't give a crap. So Yeah. Yeah, interesting. And we and we see actually, if you look at the Azrael and the carry, Moptosh opting for the 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 three armor, where you yeah. don't run the chest piece to guarantee that they're lowest HP. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Which right, should we send this one in? Being lowest HP for Meza might prove interesting. Yeah, yeah. So it's I, I like the lowest HP choices for both teams. I think it's it's it's, it's inspired. All right, let's see it. We've got Meza as the aggressor. We've got Moptosh on the defense. Best of luck to both teams. 
Let's see how this plays out. Will Meza manage to clutch this with all the damage over time, or is Moptosh too tanky? Uh, we shall see. Match. Yeah. And Harry dodging from uh, Meza. Yep. Yeah. Great active skill from Tix, but that's going to punish. Harry dead, Waldeck dead, Delacium, oh, end of round damage. Yeah, yeah, but then the Azrael and Carry are going to come back. Michelle's also going to come yeah. back. We're healing with the Waldeck passive there, the Blood Frenzy. Yep. I, I don't Andrea know horrified and twined. Oh, that end around damage good. that Meza had to eat was really heavy. And I, you look at that, Me Meza's now yeah. struggling. He's got no healing. Yeah, that's what Delacium does to you. Yeah, the, that was absolutely brutal. Really solid. Great healing from Andrea as well, just eating up the Mim damage. And, and actually, yeah, Andrea outhealed Mim entirely. That was very decisive from Moptosh. I think even when he resurrected, the, yeah. the Mim the Mim had nothing. There, there was no way he could reset the damage. And and because Meza hasn't got Azrael, that's that's one less hero to loop deaths, which makes yeah. life even harder for Mim. Yeah, well, I think as soon as that Ticks um, knocked out uh, Waldeck, uh, Azrael, carry, it was just uh, Delacium immediately had an active. Yeah. Well, an attack. And that just, you know... Delysium does his thing, and it's tough to uh, deal with. Yeah, and then once the end of round damage came in, you looked at the whole team. I think Meza's whole team had less than 10% health each. It was ridiculous. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I think Andrea is just so popular now just to counter these suicide strats. I think you're seeing almost every top team now running Andrea just mm. because suicide has won way too much, and Andrea is the best counter. So Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and as we said, with Auspicious Lucky Cat now in the meta, you've got two defensive artifacts you can lean on. If you, if you count Magic Stone Sword, three, right? If you want to get greedy, yeah. run Andrea Fiona. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, well, but, I mean, the, the shields and the and the damage reduction from Andrea, yeah. You need to run something like, uh, like well, obviously, there's Forkus, but um, even like Elena or Ada. Yeah, it's crazy. Either way, let's go see how... This is going to be for Moptosh. This is this is one of Moptosh's old teams. That's not the team we want, but you can see a lot of Moptosh's old lineups here. But this is the one we're bringing this <laughs> time with the Azrael carry. Ah, oh, you say that. I don't even know if there's secrets at this point. I think Mop Moptosh is he's very innovative. The the thing he brings next tournament, he probably hasn't even cooked up yet. There's all sorts. I think he'll just make a good meta call. I don't know. I think he's I think he's already cooking. Ha! Well, let's watch the chef in action now, as he is the attacker. And it's probably going to melt through Mesa's team again. That's my prediction here. Yeah, let's um, see. Azrael and Carry getting energy stolen. That's unfortunate. Here comes Betty. Yeah. How much twine are we going to see? Um, okay. Uh, a little Waldeck, bit. Waldeck, Carry. Azrael's dead already. Delicium gets energy stolen. It's going to get better low. this time because Waldeck's still up and hasn't made an attack. Yeah, yeah. That Betty twine is really good, Ooh. actually. Delicium just hanging in there. Delacium for Meza's down. Wow, Michelle. Michelle. That was such a good stun, hitting the ticks and the Betty. She then does again, something for us. <laughs> yeah, if Waldeck is last to die, that actually works out amazing for Meza. Because Meza's yeah. locked down the Waldeck. The only issue for Meza now, though, is the Azrael's no. back, which Waldeck's gives Meza dead. more problems. Waldeck Here is comes dead. The round damage. <laughs> yeah. Although, the Meza's Waldeck Waldeck's in. now dead. Yeah. Ooh. I don't think it's going to matter. It depends. It, it depends how the Mim damage comes in here. Will Mim tank this? Yeah, he will. Mm, but it's not going to matter. Delicium's still up. Yeah, that's it's three stacks. Tanky. Three stacks of burn, two stacks of bleed. That Mim is so dead. Yeah. Crunch. Absolutely annihilated. Well done, Moptosh. Basically showing that if you try to mimic him, he's going to punish you. This is absolutely fantastic. Twelve and a half million damage there from Delacium. A little bit of that's him hitting out, a little bit of that is him continuing damage over time. Yeah. And that puts Moptosh at a 2-0 lead here against Meza. Well, is there is there any scenario here where you see Meza winning? Honestly, I think Moptosh's team just has way too much sustain, which makes it too hard for the Mim. And Meza opting for the HP HP Golden Crown Mim is great against squishy teams, really soft lineups, uh, like yeah. the lineup I brought to the last IHXC teams that are running very high damage, low health heroes. And 
that's our problem here is is Moptosh is running the complete opposite of that. He, he's running a team that's like, nah, that, that Mim's not bringing enough. And you've also got the other problem that if Meza had opted for a more aggressive Mim, that Mim would just mm. get melted because there's, there's no healing on Meza's team apart from, what, I guess you could say Blood Frenzy, but that's super inconsistent. That relies on you getting hit. Uh, so I, I think what Moptosh is proving right here, and you'll see it with the teams in the upper bracket as well, is I, I think Andrea is going to be another mainstay for this tournament. And I know we say that about so many heroes that we see Sherlock, yeah. Betty, Carrie, Forkis, Andrea. There's so many here. You can't fit them all on a team, right? <laughs> yeah, but you see like so many different lineups that, and they have all of these mainstay heroes. Like you, you see, uh, you see Andreas everywhere. You see Sherlock's everywhere. Carrie is on like every line. I think is Carrie on every single lineup. Should be yeah. It's it. I think the difference with Carrie is how you choose to build her. Because because yeah. Do do you want to put elusive mirror on Carrie? Can you afford to waste it? Do you want to put your Rui Scepter on Carrie? I think that's the really interesting thing with Carrie. Yeah. I wouldn't say Carrie's broken because the best two Carrie builds prevent Lose. you, yeah, from putting the Lose artifact you, on someone yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, because like elusive mirror focus is so strong, mm. and Rui Scepter Betty is so strong. Yeah, but we're but, not uh, seeing we're not seeing Betty on every single lineup. We're we're seeing Carrie everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I think we, what we've seen a lot of, and I think is it's it's this Azrael Andrea combo. I think we've seen in a lot of the top teams. Mm. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and send it in the next fight. See how we do. Salute for uh, salute for Mesa, I think. Indeed. Well, where's that energy steel landing? The hitting oh, wall deck. Nice. Okay. Delacium too. That's that's um, well, not really going to matter too much. It might help. Oh my oh, word! That's not what you want from ticks. No, <laughs> killing the Azrael and the carry just giving you heals for the team, not damage. And the wall deck. Yeah. And then that's... Delacium immediately goes. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of damage though. That that we had to eat there. Delacium's still up. Oh, Meza could win this one actually. On, ah, but we will see Carrie yeah, and Azrael man. return. Oh, Delacium down. That's that's big. That's big. It is. Oh, but what's this? This Mim's got no damage. healing. And then, ah, oh, here we go. Andrea. No, no, Mim. Mim does do some healing. But oh. yeah, the disrespect from Michelle. Absolutely brutal. Very well played. That is Moptosh with another defensive win there. And that's a 3-0 sweep in the defensive position. Very nicely done. And Meza, unfortunately, you go home with a, a difficult few matchups, I'd say. Meza did get a few wins, but had a real tough time. Um, very well done. Yeah. Very, very well done, though. And Moptosh, really innovative team. I, I really like to see what Moptosh has brought here. And it's, it's unlike any other team in the tournament. So... We could see we could oh, see yeah. this team do very well. We could see him he could take the whole thing, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's certainly uh, got the potential to do so, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely a good good lineup. Now we draw our attention to the upper bracket where we will be taking a look at D Dragon returning once again. And uh, D Dragon's mm -hmm. team has been the talk of the tournament. Very unusual choices, but very inspired at the same time. There's logic to each thing that he has brought. And he's going to be facing it up against uh, Mr. Wheels, who is currently still undefeated. So both of these guys are really going to have to push it to each other because neither has suffered a loss. And both of their teams are excellent. So we'll get those on screen for you in a second. Yeah. Please have been uh, the two. Well, Mr. Wheels has had a standout team. It's just, you know, if Scribe brought uh, good stuff, Mr. Wheels good uh stuff yeah yeah exactly because if you look here we've got uh, an energy artifact wall deck which is fantastic we've got focus with elusive mirror really good and then amb carry it's a little bit of a, a slower choice d dragon yeah, bringing yeah. elusive mirror it's what we we're talking about last fight that that you've got to opt for a, an amb carry if you can't afford to put those artifacts on other people uh, Mr. Wheels choosing Ruyi Scepter Sherlock, um, which gives yeah. him more consistent doves. That could be a huge problem. Which for is him. huge. Yeah. And then Melodic String which... with Speed Attack has Real. I like that. That's a good aggressive yeah. build. Well, D Dragon has also opted for the Ruyi Scepter Sherlock, so it'll be an interesting, uh, interesting yeah. mirror match in that regard. Yeah, they're even built. Um, well, no, the the uh, D Dragon Sherlock is faster, which might prove massive. 
Yes. They they both look both teams look excellent here. And um, I, I think you'll see this with a lot of the teams that are, you can see now yeah. that people are opting for Auspicious Lucky Cat over Golden Crown um, because yeah. Auspicious Lucky Cat, for all that it gives 1% less all damage reduction, it gives you 24% control immunity instead of the attack that Golden Crown brings. And I, I think people prefer that. To be honest, I think they're like, yeah, I, I don't need attack on my support heroes. <laughs> I'll, I'll take the control immunity, please. Thank you very much. Um, yeah so you know absolutely the control immunity um addition is pretty huge yeah it's it's basically it's, a magic stone sword but with but with a uh, hp yeah uh, let's yeah. see here we got we've got the focus which is bad news bears for d dragons and raya yes uh other than that we've got the we've got the uh Azrael, Harry, Sherlock, uh, Core. Mm -hmm. uh, the only difference is Waldeck for uh, Forkus, which interesting with the the Kiss of Ghost attack attack. Like it's it's a very uh, aggressive uh, Waldeck. Yeah, but I, I guess I, what I... he's going for here is is just you know the the Death Loop. Yeah. I think another thing we have to notice is D-Dragon has a faster Sherlock. Speed mm. HP will always outspeed HP HP. And Indeed. the other advantage, I think, that's interesting for, for D-Dragon is, I mean, his, his, like we said, his carry is faster. So that, that speed difference is great. But then you look at Mr. Wheels, you've got to remember, D-Dragon's brought this Gurk, which is just a meme hero to die. And... I, I, you I mean, that's me the best hero on the team. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, you see, it, yeah, it's Girk in in place of Forkers, which is, in my opinion, just a better lineup. I think Mister Wheels is just a better version of D Dragon the team. That's 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 the take home I'm seeing here. And um, I don't know. It, I think I think that speed HP Sherlock could prove uh, pretty big. The the, the speed um, difference is what's going to do it, if anything. Azrael Azrael is going to go before uh, D Dragon's one. Yeah, with the speed attack there. Uh. Uh, it's, it's interesting. Carrie's going to go first for D-Dragon. Sherlock is going to go first for D-Dragon, but Azrael will go first for Mr. Wheels. Yeah. So we just got to go see what happens, really. I, 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 I think this is too close to call, but I think Mr. Wheels has the edge on heroes. I think D-Dragon has the edge on speed. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a really interesting fight, and Let's I'm excited see. to see what happens. So uh, D-Dragon begins here with a Gurk. <sighs> <laughs> Let's right. see how this plays. Orcus instantly oh, killing Dirk. In wow, good. that was that's big. That's really big. Oh my word, that that's so much damage. Forcus is dead. Doves don't go through there, even with Receptor. That Andrea is now doved, so that means no healing. That is rough. Ooh. That is unfortunate. And Waldeck's still wonder, alive. We're going to get them both back, which is big. Carry with an active. Nice. Huge here. And if it looked like D-Dragon's team was squishy, that's intentional. D-Dragon opting for very low HP on his back line. Yeah. Sherlock's Waldeck super tanky, dead. though. Oh, that's a lot of damage over time. Carry ooh, getting health swaps on the Andrea. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. That Andrea looks like about to die, oh. actually. Wow. Big. Carry back. Here we go. The speed on the carry proving huge. She kills herself. Azrael back. Yeah, Sherlock staying alive, although he's a dove. He's he's looking Ooh. great here. Oh, this is this is this is Wow. Oh wow. End of round damage proving big. Yeah, and that carries energy steel massive. And that that's it. That is it for D Dragon. He gets absolutely pushed back. And I think this is this is a weakness for D Dragon's team. Opting for all that lower HP does mean that if there's ever an opportunity like that where his whole team's dead at mm. once, you ain't resurrecting, dude. You're relying way too much on that. I know Andrea's his anchor, but poor Andrea got know. doved and killed. Yeah, it it was closer than um, it appeared to be from round one, though. It, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that could really go either way, to be honest. 
Definitely, definitely. But I, I do believe, I do believe that Mr. Wheels' team has that edge. I mean, even sorry, yeah. the Focus, the Focus is just a faster hero. The fact that Focus can is it, definitely yeah. one shotting Girk, one shotting Azrael, one shotting Carry if Carry doesn't dodge. That's a yeah. lot to deal with. One shotting Waldeck. Yeah, which then, which then I makes think, that elusive mirror Carry feel just way too slow. I think what proves the dis, the the dis, the difference, not the distance, the difference there <laughs> is uh, the Azrael, the speed difference there. Once we got down to that uh, end game thing, Mr. Yeah. Wheels' Azrael was just going first every single time, getting the damage off first. Yeah, and if Azrael kills himself on his own active, he gets much better damage. And, and this is the thing, I, I find it weird opting for those three artifacts as they are on you. I, but then, but then Mr. Wheels opting for three and on one split, where he went with three six RPs. I I think three and one split is it is better. But the only problem is it's slower. So when you see people going for three and one split, they are running a slower hero, which is I yeah. think why you see so many people opting not to run the the, the HP chest plate because it's fast. But Azrael has so much damage, and he's getting away with it as well because he's still quicker even with the three and one split. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. I like it. I, I, I think I think Mr. Wheels' team is is very solid, and uh, let's go see it in action as the attacker this time. Yeah, with D Dragon on the defense. Best of luck, man. Let's see if D Dragon can pull a defensive win here. Focus comes out again. Carry dodges. That's great. That means Carry yeah. does get energy here. That's that's a much bigger difference. That's fantastic here. No uh, doves from Sherlock again. No Waldex oh, dead, which is good. Doved again. What happened to Sherlock? Yeah, it's getting getting dubbed so much, and and it's uh, that's unfortunate, man. That really is, because he breaks free oh, at least. He does he does? There's Waldex oh, down. Yep. Andrea holding in strong this time. Yep. Azrael dead no, too again. on both sides. Sherlock getting dubbed again. Yeah. Where is it? Where are all his cards? Oh, well, he can't. He can't reflect being dubbed. It's the one CC Sherlock can't deal with. Oh, yeah. Which is which is basically the best counter to Sherlock is another Sherlock. <laughs> yeah, but his the I think D Dragon Sherlock is majorly low rolling right now because uh, he's faster and has not gotten a single dove off. Yeah. Part five. Yeah, this is really unfortunate for him. There we go. And that's that's oh, exactly really. the dub he needed. Fantastic. On Andrea and the other Sherlock here. Oh, yeah, but Azrael's yeah. active. Oh. Oh. That is tough. Look at that damage. Azrael, really, really that's strong nuts. hero. Really good. I I think we are gonna see so much Azrael in the finals here. And I, I think I think Azrael is a hero to absolutely watch. Um, yeah. Add it, add it to the list, right? Sherlock, Betty, Azrael, all these heroes that we just see do such good things. And, mm. you know, Smeegs, it'll be interesting. What would you even bring to the tournament if you were playing? Um, that's something we could probably talk about later. Have a think. Yeah. Would you go for one of these Azrael teams or would you would, would you would you not? I, I don't know. We're seeing some good stuff from them and that's a 2-0 lead for Mr. Wheels. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely something to think about, hey? Hmm. All right. Let's see if D Dragon can claw it back here. I feel Indeed. like he's definitely got the potential to. He just mm. needs to stop by rolling with his Sherlock. <laughs> Very true. Let's go see then. Is uh, D Dragon getting punished here for his Gurk? I think he is. That's what I think is mm. happening. Because look, that Focus always goes first. It's to killing the Gurk. The Gurk might as well not be there, really. Oh, it does out. Oh, nice oh. Azrael active. That was really good. That oh, D-Dragon, hello. Yeah, this is looking real good. Real, real good. Here we in, go. In, in fact, you know what You know great. what I think would have been really good here instead of Gurk? Yeah. Um, Eos. Ooh, just, just, just an elusive mirror. Eos, just to put out some damage over time and then die and clear off. Yeah. Just, cause, oh, cause that, it's faster. Sherlock, that Sherlock is doved. Yeah, and now the Andrea oh. is too. All the active oh. missing. Oh, oh Sherlock dead. That's that's oh. that's rough. That's rough. Can Andrea tank it here? The, the, the thing is, we see Mr. Wheels is Andrea is dubbed. Is that we're a, now in, I think 
I see Azrael and Carrie standing behind their shack. Are we bugged here? <laughs> uh, we we might be. I don't, I think I think it's just a glitch. I think they will return when they need to. Um, I uh, there, there oh, they are. They're back. The clutch. Oh, oh my nah, word! Man. Andrea tanked it, and Azrael. That's the thing. Azrael, because D Dragon's heroes are so squishy. Even Azrael just dying is enough to kill. That yeah. is crazy. Look at that. That's um. Yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. And that's it. That's that's 3-0. That's, that's the win yeah. for Mr. Wheels. That's absolutely crazy. And D-Dragon is knocked down. Um, yeah. Teams so similar. Happens. You're only running five heroes. It's going to cost you. It really is. And, um, yeah, D-Dragon, unfortunately, trolling here with his Gurk, and that was going to cost him. I, I really think that's his downfall. If he'd have just chosen a yeah, hero... Absolutely. And we know he's got them. He just thought it was like, well, this hero's going to die anyway. They're not going to do anything. You know, but at least make it a Tix or something just to do some damage over time. EO, yeah. so something, right? Just make it something. All right, he's still problem. in the loser's bracket. Who, who's he facing up against? Moptosh. Ooh, That'll wow. be an interesting one. Yeah, it will be very interesting. I, I think Moptosh can rinse him, to be fair. But you never know. You never know. Yeah, anything can absolutely. happen. Absolutely. All right. All right, we got one more fight, and then we'll take a break, so you guys can get yourself a water, oh. go to the toilet, whatever you need. We but... could take that break now, actually. That would be awesome. Okay, we will then. Let's take a quick break, and um, we will see you shortly. We have, uh, yeah, actually, we don't, we don't have that many fights today, do we? Um, so, we only got 12. Yeah, so we can, we can do a break every three if you want to. But, folks, we'll see you in a second. Get yourself a glass of water, sort yourself out. We'll see you in five. Don't go anywhere.
Hello, folks, and welcome back to the Idle Heroes 10 Star Cup. We have another fight coming up for you, which involves Steven and Willie Wildboy. It's funny, we've been talking about a lot of these heroes like, uh, like Andrea and Sherlock, and we're not going to see either of them in this next matchup, but both these teams still look pretty solid. And I think well, that's what we will it. see a Sherlock. <laughs> we, we, oh, will we? Oh, yeah, we will. Yes, Willie Wildboy is bringing Sherlock. That is very true. Um, but yeah, there's all sorts of like mix ups and changes. I mean, there's a Garuda in this one. That's the Indeed. exciting thing. Yeah. So honestly, that's it. There's just so many viable heroes for the Art of Heroes 10 Star Cup. It's, yeah. it's just all sorts. And, and Steven bringing a Russell like Scribe hat. Yeah. Intriguing choice. Um, that he would go with. I mean, yeah. You look at you look at. It, he's got energy artifacts everywhere. Um, mm -hmm. We've got we've got the fact that he had to choose Snowheart and Russell is is hilarious. Uh, but well, it does give the thing that jumps me. out is you've got Stephen, you've got uh, Tix, and yep. you've got Russell as your damage dealers. Yep, we did it. Do, we we saw it do so well for Scribe, uh, and you say mm -hmm. Russell and and Waldeck. Attack, attack, Waldeck. holy damage, and three yeah, of one split. Absolutely. Yeah, if, if he dies, that's... Yeah, sorry. Huh? Sorry, Waldeck buffs himself as well, right? Um, In that he buffs the team with frenzy? his Blood Frenzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Blood, yeah. Blood Frenzy will well, buff the team. Well, that makes three damage dealers all vulnerable to focus. Very true. So we could see Steven have a real tough time against the... Uh, against the Forkers. That said, though, Tix and Waldeck are going to do a lot of passive damage. Um, there's very no true. anchor, really, for Steven's team, though. The, the the heroes do seem very squishy. And there's no healing. There's there's Fiona for protection, but I don't mm. think that's going to be enough. I don't think that's that's not really the same as healing or someone like Garuda well, that heals every time heroes die. Yeah, I mean, similarly for Wild Boy, Garuda's his only he hero that heals, and she just heals herself. True, but uh, that that's enough as an anchor of any, right? And and Sherlock's very health true. swaps as well. You know, he's, he, he, it's a lot. It's a very sticky team. Wild Wild Boys is I think is stickier than Stevens, and sticky wins, especially with Azrael as yeah. well. Like that Azrael will just come back. The uh, endless cane too. He's just going to get progressively more and more dangerous. Yeah, I I, th I think Wild Boys team is excellent. I think it's absolutely excellent. Um, and you, you what you're looking at is. A very aggressive Azrael, a very aggressive carry. Um, they're both going to come back and continuously harass Steven. Um, whereas Steven Garuda, doesn't have that. Garuda would be weak to focus as well, right? With her feathers? Yes, that's true. That's very true. So, whether um, but, or not attack HP, lucky cat Garuda can withstand a focus mark. That'll be interesting to see. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, uh, focus back and forth action going on here. And they're both speed mm -hmm. tied. They're both elusive mirrors, so... Yeah, identical builds actually speed attack and elusive mirror. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I I, th I think Willy Wildboy has the edge on survival, and I think Steven has the edge on damage, and I think it's whichever yeah. is superior. Well, will... the carriers um, the carriers aren't speed tied either. Steven's carry will go first. Uh, that's true. Yeah, that's it. Opting for AMB for Wildboy. Whereas Receptor is Stephen's choice, and it works yeah. great. Yeah, I, th I think I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be a close be very one. Very interesting. Yeah. Mm. So, know. let's go send it in. Good luck, Stephen. You're our attacker using Russell Waldeck, Carry Tix, Focus, and Fiona against Wild Boys Garuda team with Azrael, Carry, and Sherlock. There's a Focus in there mm. and a Waldeck. It's, it's going to be interesting. Let's see what this Garuda Focus hits. Oh wow! Uh, getting getting yeah everyone you wanted to get there. Yeah, Russell and Tix. Russell there instantly... Russell, there goes Tix. Yeah. Getting the wall deck. Sherlock, low health. Yeah, it's, although if you take a look here, um, Wild Boy's team super low HP here, yeah. and wall deck still hasn't done his active skill. This this 3 and one split super aggressive wall deck is going to melt oh, the lineup. The Garuda. Yeah, and she's Garuda's energy stolen! Wow. Garuda yeah, has weaknesses. I, I honestly, the fact the wall deck is still alive is devastating for Willy Wildboy because that wall deck is just going to be a problem. He's got another oh, active another in the tank. Coming. Oh, that's huge! Oh, One shot in. Oh, carry back. That's not Energy enough. Stone. The speed difference. Oh. Wow. 
That Waldex you know, hanging in there was huge. Yeah, we said that Steven's team had the damage. Hot dang. That was crazy. Melting, wild boy. And a mm. lot of the speed ties coming into play there. That carry really getting that clutch energy steal. That was really good. Steven, yeah. very well played. Great team. Even with half of it dead to a Forkus active. <laughs> That's yeah, the thing. Well, Forkus is squishy. So even if Forkus kills a Tix, Forkus is going to die to that Tix, and then Tix is going to harass the team from the grave. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it goes because the Forkus is a speed tied. Yeah. Um, whether or not that makes much of a, an impact. I, I don't think it will because once one Forkus is gone, the other one will go. It's not like mm. it's going to trigger anything. It just literally depends on where the Forkus marks land. Uh, I think the reason people run Forkus so fast is just so that Forkus can not get harassed by other heroes with Elusive Mirror, like an Elusive Mirror carry or an Elusive Mirror Sarger. It's just like, no, no, yeah. this is the fastest hero in the game, and I am making sure of it. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yeah, perfect. Right, right, let's go send in again yeah. then. Good luck, Wild Boy. You are on the defense this time. Sorry, on the attack this time. And um, let's see if that Garuda can actually get an active this time. That'd be really, really good. So, oh, the Dazzle on Waldeck. That is that is real good, actually. That's a nice oh, Dazzle. Getting, getting Tix and Russell as well. That's big. Oh, my word. Sniped. Russell not even needing to be harassed by Forkus. The Dazzle Ooh. on Waldeck is going to... Look, there's Just only bleed on, on Fiona. Wow. That's devastating. Oh, that's, that's the problem. Damage. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my word. Garuda didn't get energy stolen. So Not there yet. she is. She's got an active ready, but oh no, Carrie's going to hit her. Oh no, Carrie's back for... Oh, hello. The 50-50 fails, Garuda stolen. gets stolen. Yeah. Oh my word. The thing is though, we do have Blood Frenzy on Garuda, so she is going to heal every time she gets hit, and she is going to yeah. heal when Azrael and Carrie die, so... Oh my word. And healing when Forkus dies. Nice to see. Yeah, energy stolen on Fiona there. It's just Carrie's to like to carry us such a big counter for Garuda. Yeah, with the Phoenix buff. Energy they, again here. Oh, it's so tough. Yeah, it's this is the problem with Garuda. It, it carries just too good of a counter. You're right. You are absolutely right, Smeeks. That, that said, though, Azrael's here, and Azrael yeah. will harass this team. Oh my! You look at that damage on Fiona there, and with the energy mark, Fiona's so Carrie's, dead. Yep. Yeah, carries do dodging everything. Oh, energy stolen again. Yeah, Three there times. Was... I wonder if Carrie's energy steal depends on position because she's gone for Garuda every single time. Nah, it's purely random. That is just that is just hacks, bro. <laughs> Harry hacks. Here we yeah. go. See, look again on Garuda four wow. times in a row. Well, she hit Azrael earlier, which was in, in, just in between. But no, it's it's not enough. It's not enough. Wow, boy! Congratulations. Oh. That was really solid. Uh, Sniper, you can participate by going to the Discord, reading up on the rules, and making an account that fits the uh, IHXC rule set. Indeed, if you want to join the IHXC, you can join us. We do them every two to three months or so, and an announcement goes out two weeks before the tournament, so you have a week to sign up, and then we have a week to prepare. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, you, you should get two weeks notice in advance. And uh, yeah, it, it's all pinged all over our Discord. So if you're paying attention to Discord, you shouldn't miss one of these tournaments, hopefully. As we That's do have a, a week-long sign-up, so <laughs> there's plenty of time. But the problem is most people... <laughs> yeah, most people build on. a team, forget about it, and then miss the notification. It's it's like, oh, right, okay. Because <laughs> many of you idle heroes play as a fickle. You quit after three weeks. <laughs> Silly gooses. Yeah. Three, uh, but the funny thing is, three months for me in Idle Heroes is nothing. That's that's half a yeah. Transcendence Hero for a free-to-play player in Crystals. Uh, oh, man. You get paid to do this, so... It's I, not I, that's my job. You. Yeah, that's true, that's true. You know, yeah, that's true. Three months is nothing in the world of work, is it? Yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, run it back. Run it back. <laughs> absolutely. Wild Boys on the defense this time. Steven, our aggressor, both of them having one victory as the attacker each time round. Let's go see how things play out for Steven next time. If Wild Boy gets a defensive win here, that is huge for him. Let's see if Steven can keep that pressure up. All right. Once again, oh, Wild Boy oh, with again, Dazzle. Every... Oh. Yeah. Raz Russell that... gone. 
Tix might not even get an act. Oh, there he goes. He got energy stolen. Oh, dear. So we just so did a basic. Trigger. Yeah, nah, Tix is dead. So dead. Uh, Which means what... his... Uh... On, it, it's interesting. I'm, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at Wild Boy's wall deck. And the fact he's lowest HP, it just baits that Russell Dazzle. It's just not so great. Sherlock. I... Sherlock um, being attack attack is really working against um, Wild Boy here, I feel. Yeah, like the best just... Sherlocks we've seen have been HP builds. Yeah. You just you yeah. need him to hang in there and reflect and dove and health swap. Yeah. And oh my word, um, Garuda's gotten active, not that we'll need it. But Here we that, go. That, that Fiona's so dead. This is a defense win for Wild Boy. Really um, huge. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Garuda, only Garuda of the tournament still in here. And she's great. She's a real good hero. Yeah. She's solid when she's uh, in the right team. Yeah. I mean, we've perfect seen Garuda counter. teams win. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Well, she's the perfect counter for Mim. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, uh, that's, that's the thing. You know, you got heroes like Garuda that heal when heroes die, Andrea when heroes die. I mean, either of those heroes do really good against those suicide lineups, and you just mm -hmm. saw it there, folks. You know, it's Steven's got Tix, Waldeck, and Carry all with, with death resurrect passives. Or, or at least passive continuous death damage in, in Tix and Waldeck's case. And yeah, it's... Garuda just heals. Garuda's like, yeah, thanks. And and, and, and yeah, I, I really like Wild Boy's team here. I think there's a few weaknesses. There's definitely weaknesses yeah. that Sherlock not doing as much as we'd like, but it's working. Garuda's holding in. Yeah, I mean, well, the past two fights she has, the first time she uh, she got a... Well, Waldeck survived for uh, Steven. Yeah. Actually, I'll say this. I feel like Garuda got buffed this tournament. The, the auspicious looking cat. Yeah, because I, I think one of the big weaknesses for Garuda is control. And a lot of people started preferring to run Magic Stone Sword. But that comes at the cost of significantly lowering Garuda's HP. Whereas mm. if you look at auspicious looking cat, that gives HP all damage yeah, reduction. Absolutely. And it gives the more important control immunity. So you get your three perfect stats onto a Garuda here. And um, yeah, I think Willy Wildboy was like, I think I think that's the better pick. I think that's the play. So Yeah, it yeah. certainly seems that way, doesn't it? Yeah, I'd love to see it. I think I think that's that's that for me, I think, is something exciting. We will probably see more Garudas going forward. I think Wild Boy repping Garuda hard and showing how good she is. And if Wild Boy wins this next fight, that is gonna be Steven knocked into losers. So Steven, you gotta cling on if it's your life, buddy. Let's show uh, show Wild Boy that you can get a defensive win too. Let's send it. So yeah, this is this is Wild Boy's to lose. I think he needs to get this. That fork is missing, Russell. Ooh, that's big. That's huge. That's, that's very huge. I think this is going to be a very exciting match for Steven. with that Russell that's in the air. Means. Yeah, can Six Garuda stars. tank Russell? Okay. I don't know. Oh dear, she's lowered her HP. She's up, she's oh. down. It's all over the place. It's all going to hit oh, her. No, the pings. Oh, actually, she'll survive this first one. She will do. She will. It's whether she can now heal up. Azrael and Carrie will be coming back soon. Carrie's dead, which means an active from Wild Boys carried. The Dazzle, not that it matters, there's only one hero. Yeah, true. And we're going to see the heal come now from Garuda. Because Carrie's just died. That's great. And this is the thing. Russell's arrows are always going to go for Azrael and Carrie first before they hit Garuda. He needs he needs uh, Carrie to come back. She's not coming back. No. Oh, will Garuda live oh. this? This is going to be close. There's a lot of arrows now. Russell's got a big stack. His quiver is loaded. Come on, Garuda. Oh, my word. Oh, That's it. It's it over. Surely. And bang. bang. Oh, that was that must have been agonizing to watch for Steven. Just yeah, one more arrow. Just one more arrow. Just one more arrow. Oh. That's it. That's auspicious looking cat for you, bro. Right? That extra yeah. bit of HP or Garuda makes a difference. It literally made a difference this fight. Brilliant. That's... Look at that healing. Wow. That was clutch from Garuda. Absolutely. And that it means, unfortunately, Steven is knocked down to losers. Willy Wild Boy gets the win. Which yeah. puts Willie through in the winners. That was really well fought. 
versus Willy Wild Boy. Yeah. For our Two first excellent teams. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> I, I, I'm loving seeing that, though. That was, that was really solid. Well done to both of you. Your teams are excellent. Yeah. Well, this is going to be... A, this, this next fight is going to be a great one. Yeah, well, that, that's that's true. Where are we drawing our attention to now? I think we're going back down to losers yeah. here. It's D Dragon Moptosh. Wow, that's Prodigal that. Son versus the <laughs> the father. Indeed, that that is very very cool. Um, so yeah, let's let's get these teams up for you in a sec, folks. Um, but yeah, so far, I mean, of, of the teams, we've we've now got we've got six teams that are, that are still in. Who do, you, who do you think's got the edge for you here, Smeeks? I'd have to say Moptosh purely because, well, as much as we like Gurk, it's, he's he's down a hero. Yeah. And the Delacian pressure, he's running that Azrael too. Um, it's a speed-locked carry battle. Uh, they're both running Andrea. The only the only difference I see see here is possibly the Sherlock. Mm. Well, if, yeah, uh, looking at looking at D Dragon's team, that Sherlock could be interesting. Um, you need I, I, to, yeah. But then then again, Moptosh's like Moptosh's team is weak to Sherlock because the Doves lock down the passives. Yeah, but there's only one Sherlock, and there's so many heroes that do passive things. Hmm. So it's it's gonna be a close one. I, I I think I think Moptosh is gonna be fine. Moptosh has a lot of healing to get mm. around a lot of the the passive damage of D Dragon, and D Dragon's team is super squishy. So yeah. I think that, that could deck, be pretty that exciting. Deck, that's gonna yeah yeah. The only issue for Moptosh is most of his damage is coming from Waldex passive, which then Delacium continues, and it's whether Delacium is going to be able to put enough damage onto the Azrael and carry, because they're going to loop a lot. They're going to dodge yeah. it. But then again, D-Dragon's Azrael and carry have a really low HP, so that might not even be a problem. He might be able to kill them fine. Is, um... I think... Most of the teams will be... No, no. Again, that faster Azrael for Moptosh. Mm. The speed-locked carries. The speed-locked... Uh... Oh, actually... Do the what is what is the third armor piece there? Is that the relic or whatever? Uh, that's boots. I thought the bottom piece was boots. Oh, oh, uh, that, that's what I assume. What you meant by third? Do you mean the chest piece? Is that the chest piece that's missing? It yes, be. yeah, that just that's gives just HP. Chest, yeah, just HP, so no speed difference for those Waldex. Nope. Hmm, and I'm guessing, yeah, the Andreas will be tied too. So it's pretty much, there's no real speed advantages here aside from, um, I guess, the Sherlock will probably be faster than most of Moptosh's team. Yeah, so I, I think... Oh, actually, it'll be significantly faster, Rui and Speed HP. Yeah, I think if anything's going to win it here for D-Dragon, it's the Sherlock. I think yeah, if we see a dirty good. dove end up somewhere, this that could be really good. Um, well, he needs to dove Waldeck and Delacium. Yep. And and Arania if he's going to get past all those heals. Sorry, Andrea. Um, <laughs> he, he's, he's a, Ruben O and Bendy Man have infected me with Arania. That's that's what that is. Oh dear. Oh man. But yeah, let's see it. Let's uh let's see how D Dragon does as our aggressor here. We have Sherlock, Waldeck, Gurk, and then Azrael Carry and Andrea. Good luck, Moptosh, as our defender. Good luck to D-Dragon, our attacker. Let's see how this plays out. I think all eyes on that Sherlock for those round one doves. Who's he going to hit? Uh, okay, he hit Waldeck, but he didn't dove Waldeck. That's already an exciting start. Wow, Azrael's Ooh. damage is huge. Yeah, yeah. Pops on both sides. Waldeck active, hitting Sherlock. That's not what you want. No, Sherlock getting doves here on no, no one, one, just killing Azrael. Wow. Sherlock for D Dragon has had such low rolls these yeah. past couple of fights. The really healing though, that's big. That's big. It is big, he it really is. To, it, it's not gonna be enough though. He needs to take down that uh Waldeck. Waldeck oh, is down, but that's six bleed stacks on in. that Sherlock now. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, it really is. 
I think we're gonna wow Sherlock oh. health swapping with the damage over time. That's it. All those bleeds are just gonna keep triggering the health swap. He's health swapped with, He's health swapped with uh, Andrea. Yeah, Who's that's dumb. huge. And energy stolen. That's big. Really big. But we we've got to kill that Delacium somehow. The anti heal from Delacium. Look at that. Yeah. Two stacks. Ooh, oh, that's ridiculous. some damage over time. Really playing nicely there, Sherlock. Potentially getting a kill here on Delacium thanks to that health swap I think we've just seen come into play. Really? Oh, you really need them. Um... Oh, Andrea's down, but the heroes are back. Carrie's this is down. mad. You really oh. need that Delacium dead. Oh, oh no. That's rough. Clutch Michelle. The no. Azrael's going to be faster for... Oh, the energy steal, though, so no active for Azrael. No, but when he dies, he's going to kill... Wait, hang on. Is Michelle just gonna no? <gasps> the dodge! The dodge! Oh, damage over time though. But the, on the yeah, carry. the dot's gonna surely, surely the burns enough. Lion. Oh, but Azrael comes back. Like, what is going on? Oh, he's dead. He's so dead. Unless it's gonna be a draw. Michelle, the disrespect. He's no. Um... <laughs> wow. Oh, Honestly, man. that zero there, bro. If you hadn't have brought the freaking troll, dude, you'd have had that fight. Oh, wow. Oh, I, man. I, Sherlock did so much damage. Like, he melted Moptosh's team with health swap after yeah. health swap. 11 and a half from just healing in the health swaps alone. And Moptosh brings up a good point. Delacian does have CC and uh, resistance built in and is running Lucky Cat. Yeah. But he's that is... hard to uh, CC. Mm. Either way, that is a defensive win. <laughs> Congratulations, Moptosh. Very nicely done. Really well played. And D Dragon struggling there, holding on for dear life with his Sherlock. It wasn't enough. Let's see how Moptosh does as the attacker here with D Dragon yeah. on defense. Let's see. Sherlock did low roll on the doves. Yes. So could get we'll some clutch doves. Alters. Yeah. All right, so carry stealing from Azrael. Big carry active there, stealing from quite a few. The stun on Waldak. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, not... Oh, Gurky dead. Yep, everyone's dead. Oh, that's brutal. We're about to see a Sherlock active. Yep, unless it's stolen. It, it isn't... Oh, no, Waldak's dead now. That's fine. That is fine. That's what you like to see. Here's some control. Obviously, Michelle has control on Munes. That's no problem. Yeah. Sherlock, you fool. Yeah. Baldock dead. We're about to see some big damage over time. Definitely, definitely. Not, back. Nice thing is Sherlock hasn't had to eat a Waldeck active this time, so he's not got six stacks of bleed on him, fortunately. Yeah. So, oh, we're oh, going to see... Really need to, they need to melt that Delacium. Yep. Or even Dove him. Oh, oh what a clutch, Dove. That is fantastic to see. Now, Azrael will get an active here, yeah, which damage. is probably going to kill quite a few heroes. That might wipe the team, actually. Azrael's active could wipe. Oh, Azrael's going to be really health strong. That's a double kill. The health swap, yeah, you yeah. are absolutely right, does trigger, yes. Um, Azrael neither needs team. To they need to kill that Delacium before he comes back. Yeah. Neither team has Andrea yes, anymore. Team. This is, yeah, They're it's a 3v3. Up. I, I think Sherlock has the edge on Michelle here. I think this is yeah. D-Dragon's fight. Oh, Michelle surely. hasn't res yet. She has. She has. She died early in the round. Did she? Oh. Yeah. I so, missed that. Yeah. It was, it was pretty pretty subtle. Ooh. But, I mean, that's Sherlock health swapping again. Yeah, he needs that. The damage over time's building up. Yeah. As Lael's about to come through. The stun on Wild Boys, uh, not Wild Boys, D-Dragon's Azrael. Yeah, yeah. That's really clutch. Stops the damage, but then again, Azrael breaks free. Is it enough though? Surely, surely. Speedy, oh, Michelle's dead. Speedy Sherlock, speedy Sherlock with no duck. He hits. Oh, that's a draw. It's 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 a defensive win for D Dragon. It absolutely is. Both players getting defensive wins here. Very, very well done. So if this happens here, it's a defeat for Moptosh, which means D-Dragon wins. Very nicely done. Very close-up matchup. That Ooh. was weird. But still, very nice. Well done, both teams.
Andrea confirmed as bad as Gurky, zero damage. <laughs> 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 well, either way, congratulations there. Uh, Sherlock getting some really nice dubs. Stopping that Delisium was clutch. The hell swaps were clutch. That's that's D Dragon's MVP. Sherlock is such a good hero. Yeah. Run it back. Run it back. <laughs> Alrighty. Good luck, Moptosh. You're on the defense this time. Um, it's it's first to three now. Both have defensive wins. So yeah. anything can happen. Moptosh has the advantage here. Absolutely. So here we go. Or I'd say whoever wins this fight has the advantage. Well, I see so. an energy stone. Hmm. Oh, nice stun on the Gurk there. That's going to do nothing. Oh, that's a lot of <laughs> oh both Azrael's cycling oh, damage this there. Is, this is terrible for Moptosh. Yeah. Oh, my. The energy steal's huge. The Sherlock. Now we just need some big health swaps. Mm. Dove's on the no, worst two heroes there, Michelle and Azrael. Azrael. I mean, that was, that was not good. Yeah, Even if it had gone through. Stone. Yep. Bang. Huge damage. Azrael going to come back. Yeah, I'm loving how tanky Sherlock's looking right now. He's barely got any stacks of damage over time either. Yeah. But again, need to wipe out that Delacium. Yes. Yeah, which is exactly what we need the health swaps for, really. The Sherlock not getting low, which is unfortunate. Although he's got two stacks of burn, two stacks of bleed, which means we could potentially see Sherlock trigger health swap at the end of this round. It's possible. Michelle's down. Ooh, and she's burned through her resurrects. So Michelle's just gone. Oh, Dub on Delacian. Delacian that's got to hurt. Mm, that's really good. Great heal from Andrea. Though. we got to see Carrie and Azrael coming back soon for sure. Yeah, yeah. This is a weird position to be in. Because uh, the only difference now is the Delacian and the Sherlock's. Oh, what a health swap. That was That's Bang. perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, that's exactly I'm what you need for D-Dragon. Sherlock, such a strong hero. Yep. And I think a good active here from Azrael is going to seal the deal for D-Dragon. Yeah. Glacium has broken free. Andrea doved. Carrie doved. Oh, Ooh, but there's that active. Just one thing in there. Yeah. I, I, Carrie this is Bang. great energy, energy steal. steal. See, again, she energy stole the, first, the hero in the first position. Yeah, it, it's just random, though. It's just random. She's just getting high rolls. Uh, it's the same random. It is, it is. Trust me. Trust me. If it always the went for the first slot. <laughs> and that's it. Nice. Absolutely Ooh. nice. Advantage D-Dragon. Yep, that with is a win for him. With the, with, the, with the meme team, indeed. Very well done. I mean, look at that. Almost 30 million damage from Azrael. Super Ugh. cool. And that's it. Low HP Azrael just looping and looping and looping, damaging so much. Beautiful. Mm. Real beautiful. All right. Only one thing to do. Let's uh... <sighs> let's send it. I mean, at, at, at this point, if, if D-Dragon gets another win, that's game. It's first to three, so Moptosh yeah. needs two back-to-back. -back. If, if he concedes to D-Dragon, he's out the tournament. This is it. Moptosh needs the fight of his life now. He's the attacker. He's got whatever speed advantages he can grab, which is carries here. Carry stealing from Waldeck. What a stun from Michelle. Dude. Unfortunately, Sherlock, Sherlock reflects back. Yeah. He tried to reflect it onto Michelle, which did nothing. Oh. Yeah. Waldeck down. We're about to see the other Waldeck fall. Oh, this is this is collateral. Sherlock active is going to be big. Who's he dubbing? No one. No one. Delacium resisting that time. Carrie still doved. That I'm healed not, huge. I'm not liking Moptosh here. He's got to take an Azrael active. Azrael just got healed, though. Okay, that's interesting. Well done, Andrea. But, oh, wait, no, then their damage comes in. And now yeah. the Azrael's going to trigger. Oh, this is really good. This is, this is going to be big. I think this yeah. Azrael active. Oh, never oh, mind. Oh, Delacium melts him. Yeah, gets exactly him dead before he can go. Is. Yeah. Oop, carry back. Look at that damage over time. Azrael's yeah. going to go for Moptosh here. Yeah, I do believe Delacium is quicker than Azrael. Andrea got dubbed. Bang, Delacium melting Azrael again. Yeah, but, but Delacium's really low health here. The health swap's coming through as well from Sherlock. Stun on Sherlock. Hitting Andrea. 
Oh, Delacian is dead. Dead. Andrea close to death as well. If Andrea gets an active, this is great. There's the heels. Really big for D Dragon. Yeah, pull that all the way back up. All the way back up. Yeah, and the, and the doves. Doves are brutal here. Azrael oh. trying, dying, healed back up by Andrea. Sherlock's health still looking fantastic with energy as well. And this combo of Andrea and Sherlock is just so good. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And it's the Azrael carry too to just anchor constantly. Because the thing is, Sherlock Azrael carry was an established thing. Andrea Azrael yeah. carry is an established thing. Why not just run all four? Oh, yeah, Sherlock's, Sherlock's dead. Down. Hold on a oh, minute. That that could be a change it's of not over. No. Oh my word. We we it comes down to speed Radio. on Dang. on Azrael's now. And Moktosh's is faster. It is. It is way faster. D Dragon opting for attack attack on his Azrael. Ooh, Azrael's dead. But carry dodges. Yeah. Carry dodged Azrael. This is this is means... so close. Oh, there's Phoenix. Phoenix is going to take out no the shield wow so here we go oh, goodness Ooh. sake how are these how how are these Andreas going to die I think we're, we're going to see them round 15 another, let's speed it up <laughs> yeah let's go to times 2 speed this is going to loop on and on I, I think it just comes down to the faster Azrael though yeah I, I'd have to agree with you there Goodness me, and the and, and also attacker's advantage gives Moptosh the edge. We're going to be going to unless something insane happens. We could see a draw. Ooh, oh, which we, is, ooh, if we if oh, we see Israel a draw, dead. this is devastating for Moptosh. No, no, Azrael. Wow, uh, got Andrea in the end there. That, we're going to we're all. Going to a, Yep, this is it. The winner of the next match takes it all. Which is Moptosh advantage, because if we get a draw... That's true. Moptosh will win by default. But the thing is now, the, the speed's a little wonky. Moptosh still has the faster Azrael, but this time, D-Dragon has the faster carry. This is going to be clutch, yeah. and very close. At this point, D-Dragon's probably wishing he had speed attack on his Azrael. <laughs> Quite possibly, quite possibly. Let's send it in and see what happens. Here we go. Here we go. Harry going, stealing energy from Waldeck, that's big. Yep. We see active skills on both Azraels. We're going to see massive damage come out here, but the faster oh. Azrael goes first, which is a huge advantage there for Moptosh, as always. We've got an active from uh, Waldeck coming, the big old kiss of ghost. Oh, yeah. Which is going to look Ooh, impressive. Dove on, dove on wall deck too. Yep, and healing. Oh, the heal. Andrea doing Bang. work. There you go. Big damage over time coming out there. And that's he's Blood Frenzy up. on the team. Yeah, he he's holding. He really is. I don't think he's going to live at the end of the round, though. I think damage over time is going to get him. Yep. Yeah. But then the damage over time is going to start uh, stacking up. It really is. With an active and now the death passive, that's a lot of bleed. That Moptosh has got to deal with. Ooh, and this could go one thing, way right now. Oh, yeah. Sherlock. One thing Sherlock to note. That... Yeah, go I on. think what well, is that Moptosh is opting to run Lion. D Dragon's got Phoenix, so slightly defensive um, monster Ooh, for Moptosh swap. could really help. Yeah, that health swap didn't really go anywhere, though. That's the shame. It just went all into Azrael, I think. No, so I think it was on Andrea who healed immediately. Ah, that would make sense, yeah. But either way, it's a shame. Oh, Michelle's really low. And dead. She has a res, though. She has a res. True, true. Some good doves from uh, Sherlock here. Yep. Oh, health swap, swap again on Michelle. Carrie getting the kill. Yeah, nice. Oh, great and dove! Red, uh, and Carrie, that's huge. Oh, we're getting some anti-heal on Andrea here. Yep, triple dub oh, now from Sherlock. Really crazy. Melt that. Uh, they need to melt that um, Delacium. Yep, and this is going to oh. give an active to Azrael here, which is massive for D Dragon. If that Azrael gets an active, that's going to be colossal. Delacium kills him. 
Oh, that's no. His, uh, he might do, unless. Oh no! Here we go. No, he's up. That's oh, the least him dead. Wow. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. This is this is D Dragon's fight. Surely, there's no but there's no debuffs on Sherlock anymore. No. Oh, the doves. Oh, oh, brutal. Brutal. Carry dead. Oh my word. Andrea back. Moptosh needs a miracle to hold in here. That Sherlock is too sticky. Harry is dead. Oh, the active from Azrael. Yeah. It's worked against him a bit. Andrea! Andrea. Oh, that's it. Surely now. Surely. Given no, how no. easy it is to kill an Azrael and a carry. Yeah, but if it's a draw, Moptosh wins. That's true. He needs this active from the Azrael to go through. Oh, now there's now four heroes. It's not happening. Oh, he's melted. No way. Here we go. And um, that's all she wrote. Wow. Moptosh going home, sadly losing to D Dragon there. That he lost was the main crazy. Name. He did. That was absolutely heartbreaking. And honestly, I, I know what Moptosh is feeling right now, that he was just wishing he'd have picked someone that wasn't Michelle. That Michelle there to counter Russell and Vulcan, mainly Vulcan. Yeah. We didn't see any Vulcans. Oh, that's got to oh. hurt. Yeah, that is just a poor meta call, really. Oh, Moptosh, I, I feel for you, dude. I feel that 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 is rough. That is one way to go. And D-Dragon's team, it's colossal, showing you just how good Sherlock is. Really, really strong hero. Oh, man, that was... Like, that was a fairly close mirror match, and it just, yeah, it could have gone either way. Yeah, I, I am tired watching that fight. Like, that was, that was emotionally draining. <laughs> yeah. An instant, it looked like Moptosh might be able to snatch the draw. Yeah. Well, now we get to go see Steven versus Talking Scribe. Yeah. That is going to be a fun this one. That was the debate, right? Gurky is better than Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one way of looking at it. Uh, either way, we see both Russells of the tournament going head to head with Steven and Scribe now, which is going to be really interesting because Russell, the only big hitter left in the tournament. And we're going to see another one go. I mean, the Vulcans are all gone. There was only one of them. So it yeah. is down now to, to Scribe and Steven to battle it out. And these teams are really similar. Really, really similar. Uh, uh, in fact, are they the same? No. no. There no, is a Voldek. What's, what's the difference here? It's it's Fiona. Uh, no, no, actually. It's just Waldeck, uh and Betty, it looks like. Oh, oh yeah, Stephen's not running Betty. That's that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's really similar teams, though. Very similar artifacts too. Yeah, I slight think, differences with the builds. I think. Um, I, I think Scribe's I think, got the edge. Yeah, well, I think because the Betty is not going to be hampered by focus. No, and I, and I think the Russell Dazzle hitting Stephen's Waldeck is going to wreck Waldeck's damage over time. Yeah. So I think that's it. I, th I think for, 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 for honestly, for Steven, that's that's GG. But Unless there's some miracle. True, true. Getting Dazzle on Betty is really strong. But I, I think, yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. But I think Scribe just has the slight advantage. Because I think a I Dazzled think... Betty is less problematic than a Dazzled Waldeck. True. Uh, I am seeing, though, you, both teams, you've got Forkus targeting Russell, Ticks. Mm. Um, for Steven, he's going to be getting Waldeck targeted as well. Yeah, I, and I think I think it's going to rely a lot on death damage because both teams are super squishy. There's no Andrea here. There's no Azrael here. These teams don't have much of an anchor to survive and return like we saw in the last fight with D Dragon and Moptosh. Yeah. So it's a complete meta flip. You're looking at a completely different style of team going head to head as well. It's crazy how these mirror matches have happened, really. Um, and we're, we're, we're going to see it's going to be a close match I, I think it will be um, yeah, if you absolutely. have to call it which way do you think it's going to go I think the edge is with Scribe purely because Betty won't be as uh, affected by focus 
Yep. However, depending on how Forkus lands his marks, you know, it could prove huge. All you need is, um, you know, him to miss Russell, and then everything changes. Yeah, that's true. If any of these Russells get in the air, both teams are very fragile. So, yeah, both weak yeah. to the very hero they've brought, I'd say. I feel um, like... Is this the furthest Scribe has ever gone in an IHXC? No, no. Place? He's made it to a semifinals before and then lost due to a mirror match because neither could get a defensive win. Oh, no. <laughs> and that was in loser's bracket, so both got eliminated. Uh, that's brutal. <laughs> So, I think that's what if happened. that happens again here, would we have a rematch of D Dragon versus Moptosh? Uh, no, D Dragon would just get an instant win. Wow, because his competitors are eliminated. Wow, 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 wow. Mm. Good but, for him. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's scary. Uh, what I'm excited to see as well is, uh, I, I, I don't think we're going to end up with that kind of situation, but I, I think no. it's going to be, it's going to be a tight match. I think it's going to be a very tight match. I think. <laughs> Yeah, it's... Oh, actually, hold on. Scribe's mm -hmm. carry is slower. Oh my word, you're not wrong. That's what we were saying earlier, that you know, by running a Lucid Mirror Focus and Ruyacepta Betty, you've got to go with the slower carry. That could... That's a huge difference, actually. But then wow. again, carry's going to be dazzled for Steven. Yes. I mean, both carries are going to be dazzled. Um, so... Uh, it's whoever they hit, really. I think the big issue it's it's not even it's not even in mid game it's late game when the carries start resurrecting the yeah. the Stevens will always go first which is actually huge. Oh. Keep your eyes on the carries. That that could be a thing. Yeah. That could be a deciding thing. All right, let's send it in Stevens our attacker this time. Best of luck. Here we go. So, well look. Oh, yep. landing on Russell. Nice. Landing on Russell. So both Russells will be taken out of play. Absolutely. Tixies out. There you go. You see Russell got in the air on both teams, Dang. dead immediately, Dang. does nothing. The silence Although... and dazzle. Oh, poor Wallach. Oh. He's doing nothing. Yeah, he's he's he's, he's dead. Tixies oh, but then again, him. he's made it to round two. The dazzle's gone. So there's no dazzle yeah. to deal with. So he will get his death passive. Harry That's, Twine. Waldo dead. Yeah, this is Oh my word! Yeah. Oh, scribe! What are you doing? Oh, melting now. You see? Oh, oh. If, if this carry holds in, Waldeck wins. It all comes down to this end around damage here. Carries alive. Oh, this is Carrie's so close. Carries gonna That's live. It. She does. Wow. Wow. That that all because the Russell died round one. Dazzle only lasts around wasn't there to reapply it, which meant Waldeck got the perfect death passive, bleeding everyone. Ouch. That is the difference. You know, I said it was going to come down to death damage. That literally yeah. did. Wow. All right. What Run a it back. Match. Yeah, so that's going to be a win there for uh, Steven on the yeah. attack. Nice. And and that that is great. I, I Honestly, you know, you know what we say about heroes being on every team? Waldeck has on so many teams. Like yeah, he's we, strong. Since the beginning, since like the first IHXC, Waldeck has been a strong hero. Yeah, well, and, the damage over time, the death passive. It's yeah, it's, like it's good synergy with so many heroes and it's just it's strong in a 10-star yeah. meta. Yeah, we've been doing this for over a year now easily and um, it's crazy. You see these, the Waldeck ticks continuously. IHXC's been going for over two years. Oh, no, 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 over two. No, because it was after the subathon. We came up with it during the subathon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we, we, I started. Been, yeah. Okay. So, all right, so it's been a year right. and a half. It's been a year and a half. All right. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which I is think scary. Pretty much it's the two year mark, though. <laughs> yeah. For planning, definitely. Because it was, it was March of 2022 that we came up with the idea for the IHXC. Mm -hmm. and uh, we had our first tournament in the summer of 2022 once people had about four months to build accounts yeah and then yeah it's it's kind of cool that, that you see Tix and waldeck have been in the meta the whole time suicide teams first pioneered by moktosh in the original ihxc and um yeah yep. what a, what a roller coaster we've been on and it's scary yeah. to think it's all swinging back around again with a subathon starting next week <laughs> that's it 
next yeah. week it's starting in less than 48 hours that's uh, this uh, yeah, yeah technically this week for you because it's it's monday already in australia land isn't it that's it that's it don't yeah. forget folks hold your resubs hold your gift subs hold your prime subs that's Subathon true on tuesday yeah, Wednesday for Australians. <laughs> yeah, so for those of you watching here on YouTube, uh, that is going to be on twitch.tv forward slash mkxjumped, which is where I normally stream, but we stream the IHXC on YouTube just so that when you press live on my archive of previous lives on YouTube, it's just IHXC. That's why people say, why don't you stream on YouTube? It It's just because it archives all the IHXC stuff and and it, it's just nice. It's just that here's, here's the live streams we have done. Yeah. The professional content ends up on YouTube. What he's not, not saying is that the first stream we did on Twitch, he did not have fun editing. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you take a four hour tournament, edit that down. That's. <laughs> It's more than four hours. It's like six, seven, eight hours. Yeah, when you add all the days together. Yeah, so it's it's just much nicer when it's when it's just on YouTube. People can watch it in their own leisure, and people can skip past the pauses. You're not lazy. You just tap your screen a lot until it skips. That's it. Who wants to watch the ad breaks? You know. Yeah, yeah. Not me. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, we're gonna send it in now with Scribe. Uh, on is it Scribe defending here? It is. No, Scribe's attacking and Steven's defending. So best of luck to you. Um, that was our little Subathon sponsor. Now we move on to the actual IHXC content. Here we go. Let's best go. of luck. All right, Scribe. All right. Hacker's advantage. Let's see who that focus hits. He's on the Russell. He's on the Ticks. He's on the Waldeck. That's big. Oh, and it's the same on the other side as well. Russell and yeah. Tix both getting hit. This is this is huge. Oh, the oh. Betty twines though. Hello, that's huge. Tix yeah. isn't getting inactive. No, he might do if if there's some luck, but I don't think there will be. I think, it, and also Waldeck died round one, which meant the bleed didn't yeah. go anywhere. That's yeah, the dazzle. He got, he got dazzled. He got um, marked, and then he just got smashed. Yeah, that's 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 how it goes. That's unfortunate, really unfortunate. Which means I think we're gonna see Steven just get completely melted here. Oh, hello. Oh, and the maybe not. Oh, there's there is. Oh my goodness, mate. I think Focus Fiona's gonna live. Active. Surely. Oh, I don't the think shields. there's any more end of round damage coming, right? <sighs> there we go. Focus. Oh no way! Carrie clutches this. Oh, she didn't get no. the mark. Oh, that's devastating. No, Carrie reses. But she's faster, but she doesn't... Nah, that's all she wrote. Where did that end of round damage come from? Uh, Ticks. Of course. Yeah. Which is the main damage source here. Poor Ticks doing nothing. Oh, that is sad Ouch. to see. That is crazy. Well, then... How is a Ticks doing nothing? Oh, I know why. He died to a hero that wasn't there. So he couldn't, so he couldn't phantom mark the hero. Of course. So that's but what then, happens. But then the, end of, the end of round damage couldn't have been ticks. Uh, well, it would be ticks for. What do you mean? Was it for Scribe? No, no, for for Stephen. Because remember, we saw all of a sudden um, Betty just crumple. Uh, uh, there was a lot of end of round damage. Unless it, unless Steven. it was, it could have been. Um, it could have been. Could have been yeah, could have been Walden focus triggering. Yeah, I'd say it might have been focus trigger. I'm not I'm sure because that's where all the damage was. Waldeck barely did anything. Um, and it could have been Carrie doing damage when she's dead. That's true. That's true. But then again, she did nothing here. She did nothing for for Steven. No damage at all. Devastating. All right. Um, wait. That means Steven's carry did nothing. How? Well, she got um, she got uh, twined immediately from Betty. Ah, uh, that'll be it. And then she just dies. Yeah. That's horrid. That's really And then she came back and tried to hit Harry, I think. Oh, and then the dodge. Yeah, that would make sense. No, she hit Focus. Oh, then maybe she hit Shields. That could be it. She could have crashed into Shields. Because that's the thing. You don't do damage when you hit Shields. Ah, uh, Renville is right. It must have been Focus marks triggered by the monster. Oh, of course, because the monster buffs. We've seen that before. Yeah. Yeah, weird, very weird. Either way, that's one all for both people. Teams are very similar, very close matchup, and now we go see Scribe as defender with Steven on the attacker seat again. Is Let's this going to be a defensive win for Scribe, or is Steven going to hold his position? Let's it find out. It comes down to where these focuses land. 
Absolutely. We haven't seen a Russell do anything this fight. But he's missing oh. Russell. Russell missed. Oh, oh this no, is that's an instant advantage for Scribe. Tex is free. Oh no, he's he's twined. Oh no, Steven, this is heartbreaking. Oh no. Oh, and nice. silenced. That's it. Vorkis only hits Deona four targets. Blind. Yeah. It's funny, I said this, I was running Russell last tournament, and I was like, at the end of the day, my counter to Forkis is don't get hit. <laughs> just just yeah. pray. Because it's best of three. Oh, that twine, it's melt. Oh, God, that was disgusting. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that's how you do it. Great defensive win there for Scribe, which gives him a huge advantage now, because Scribe just wins yep. the next fight, and that's it. Scribe just needs one more, which puts Steven right. in a struggle. Back, is... Let's see if we get a repeat. Repeat of Noctosh first D Dragon. Maybe. Who knows? We could get a reverse here. Who anything's possible. And uh I, I'm 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 scared. But then again, Forkis could change it. Forkis is the win condition here for both teams. Yeah. Just let that Russell Let's live. See. Where's Forkus hitting? He's hitting, hitting Russell. Russell. Forkus hitting Russell, hitting ticks. Oh no. Poor Steven. Dazzled Waldeck <sighs> dies, which means no bleed. That was what won him that fight originally and now he's gonna melt that Not is again. so unlucky oh that's it that's it lowest yeah, hp waldeck at the end of the day yeah i i think that's just a build oversight i'd have, if, if i was steven i'd have tried to get fiona lowest hp because the dazzled fiona doesn't matter but um yeah getting waldeck dazzled is devastating because that just takes away all of his damage oh man yeah i think that's all she wrote the twine yeah. harry's about uh to get an active yeah, and Dang. I'm just looking there, I'm thinking, if, if the bleed was there from Waldeck, then the Forkers would have died earlier, and it would have triggered more damage over time. <sighs> Steven. Oh, man. That tiny thing. Steven. That's all it is. Scribe takes the win there, that puts him to 3-1. Scribe moves through to the Tasty semifinals. Dragon. Yeah, that was really, really well done. And phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> really good team. And it just came down to design oversight i think yeah the lowest hp wall deck it's just yeah. it's just not the, not the way to go unfortunately because did, did well it's a solid team it's just yeah the little tweaks here and there yeah because we mentioned it last tournament as well that like you, you've got to worry about who's getting dazzled dazzle is an oppressive ability and yeah that's it like russell there weren't a lot of this these were the only two russells in the tournament and yeah and, and they held up they got far that's it. Why the heck did not more people bring Russell? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Russell's Dazzle alone. Right? Forget his damage. That Dazzle's still good. Like, oh, oh, well, Forkis counters Russell. Doesn't stop the Dazzle. Still does something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you have to hit the Russell with the Forkis. Yeah. And Pranish arguing, uh, or asking in chat, how do we ensure they don't have a treasure train? We check every single account uh, before, we, before we send it in. Uh, we gain access to all the accounts. We get people's logins, passwords. Yeah. Um, so we, we encourage you, if you are setting up an IHXC account, put it on a separate email, separate password. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah. that's that's our advice for you. Because at the end of the day, you don't want your stuff getting... We, we, we're very safe with everyone's logins, obviously. Yeah. We have a, yeah. a, a level of standard of integrity and um, we, we wouldn't, of course, use your data. Scribe, <laughs> I am currently logged into every account. <laughs> yes, yeah. Scribe currently has on his on his screens all instances of every account to make sure no one's logging in, no one's cheating. So that's yeah, how we, we yeah. make sure there's no there's no star spawns, there's no sneaky sneaky extra guild tech or anything. Right? It's just we've got everything yeah. as it should be. Yeah. Uh, oh, Moptosh, I re-ran versus my last opponent. Eleven wins, one loss. <laughs> I'm being a very sore loser right now. Oh, that's just the IHXC for you, bud. You got the the bad RNG at the wrong moment. Ah, well. Just sometimes you've just got to accept what happens in the tournament. That's it. Like a lot of people saying that with my team that won last time was that like they're like, dude, I steamrolled you in all my testing. How the frick do you win? And I'm like, Russell high rolls, baby. <laughs> RNG clutch stuns. I can't. You know, Sarge well, I mean did great. I mean, you even low rolled against D Dragon. He beat you, and then you got the chance to come back and rectify. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Because I was in winners, I hadn't, I hadn't lost yet. So, mm. yeah. No, D, to be fair, D Dragon performed really well last tournament. It's great to see him doing well this tournament yeah. as well. And that's it. Well, you know, D Dragon was completely new. Route. 
He's shaking yeah. the same route. He's, he's back down in the loser's bracket waiting to... Well, he's got to get past Scribe. Yes, so it's going to be Scribe with D-Dragon as the attacker now. So yeah, we're just basically, it's out comes Steven, in comes D-Dragon. That's it. There's not, there's not a lot of teams left now. It's, it's scary to think. We've only got four teams, isn't it? That's it. Yeah, so just to, just a rundown for people before we go and take a break. Um, we have D-Dragon. We have Scribe. Uh, we have... Is it is it Mr. No, Montage isn't in? It's it's Mr. Wheels and And Willy Wildboy. Yeah, crazy. So those teams are completely different. So D Dragon is running a suicide team with Andrea. Willy Wildboy is running Garuda. Scribe is running a Russell Tix team. And Mr. Wheels is running Uh well, just it's it's a similar team to it's just a better version of D Dragon's team, is what I would say. So two Andreas, a Russell, and a Garuda. Very yeah, exciting. That's it. Yeah. Right. So folks, we're going to go and take a little quick break. Get yourself a drink. And uh, then afterwards, we'll go and see the finals. That's what we're looking for here. So our last it's break before we end it. Baby. It is. Get ready for the semifinals, folks. We will see you very soon. Ooh. Things are getting excited. If you want to ping folks on Discord, let them know what's happening. The finals are coming. Things are exciting. Four teams left. We'll see you soon. Get your drinks, get your snacks, grab some smears cheese. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to the Idol Heroes 10 Stars Cup, ladies and gentlemen. We are here for the finals. We have four competitors and only a handful of fights remaining. That's Sweet. it. It all you comes excited? down to this. It does. We have oh. D-Dragon versus the Talking Scribe. Yes, I think, uh, I think we can all agree that I think the best four teams of the tournament have made it through. Yeah, there's, there's, I, I, there's been no, um, you know, oh, you know, sedated went down in round one, but he really would have done well if if he just made it through, you know. Yeah, I so, think um, I think the only team I could say might have gotten further if it was tweaked to tweak, make Flamin with the Vulcan, but then again, a lot of people just prepared for Vulcan, um, Moptosh. As much as I really liked his team, that Michelle potentially an issue here but then again you look at d dragon's team that the good mm -hmm. i think d dragon's very lucky i think he's the weakest of the teams left just because of I, the, the, the the gurk choice it's a great lineup yeah but, but sherlock has hard carried his ass so far it's so strong <laughs> it's so good that you only need five heroes to make it work Ah, I don't know about that. But either way, if you look at D-Dragon's team, you look at Scribe's team, we haven't had a matchup with more different of a lineup on each side. Yeah. There's not a similarity, right? You look at the light heroes, it's Andrea, it's Russell. You look at the shadow heroes, it's Azrael, and it's Tix. And then we've got a Betty in there, we've got a Waldeck, we've got a Forkus, we've got a... There's not a single hero that's the same, apart from Carrie. And even then, Scribe's is slower. So, it's yeah, bonkers. this this is the most insanely imbalanced match we've seen all all time, and and, and Lion and Phoenix different yeah. monsters as well. It's just so different on either side. Yeah, we're gonna, what we're gonna see. We're gonna see Carrie and Gurk dazzled, which you know. Oh no, you've dazzled Gurk. Whatever <laughs> are we going to do? Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, so yeah, I think that puts D Dragon in a really nice position. Uh, I, you know, it's a funny thing. A lot. The, the Betty's <laughs> gonna make. Uh, like you lock down Azrael, you lock down Carry. Yeah, There's no resing there. I don't know. That's an issue. Uh, they, they, Betty, well, you CC them. They then they die. Then they come yeah. back. They're not CC'd anymore. Because you're gonna kill them. <laughs> the damage pressure. Like Scribe's got Russell. He's got Ticks. Yeah, I. But... I, I Russell's going to get in the air. He is here, yes, because there's no focus. Um, un unless he gets sniped by Sherlock? I don't see that happening. It might do the basic attack. You never know. You never anything is possible. Anything I, don't, I don't see it happening. Yeah, unless Carrie has to steal his energy. Yeah, there's two heroes that could stop him then. Carrie and... Uh, Carrie's uh, going to be dazzled. She is. So that... that, that significantly has a lower chance of happening that's true that's true uh i i don't know i don't know i i i i i, I could say this i think i think this is this is scribe's tournament i think scribe i think scribe's got the win here against g dragon i think he's got a lot of damage pressure i think as long as he takes down that sherlock he's fine <laughs> so i'm gonna say it again d dragon needs to spray and pray that his, his sherlock yeah his sherlock gets the health swaps and stays in like a chunky boy he's done it before he has yeah. done it before it's the the Russell is the big issue for him here. Yeah, he, th he says he can tank Russell to some extent. Yeah, but Russell's gonna keep sniping your Azrael and your carry. Like yeah. once he gets inactive, you're stuffed. Yeah, I I think we're gonna see a very interesting match, and I would love to just jump in and see what happens. Let's what about you? It. Yeah, well, let's go. So we have as our attacker here. It is D Dragon against the Talking Scribe. Best of luck. Right, and we're going to we're... see carry, and then we're going to see... Actually, we focus first, why not? Focus yep. goes. Yeah, dropping a lot of the team here. Yeah, Russell's going to get in the air. Oh, my word. The whole team's decimated on D-Dragon's side, but that's that's what he wants. You never know. We could see a lot of end-around damage not really and... helping. It's, it's the Fiona. The shield's really giving him a bit of survivability. Fiona and Lion. And that's oh. just melting... D he will survive team. this first one. He will. So he gets that health swap off, which is nice. Great yeah, heals from Andrea. Heal coming back. Yep. Betty is CC'd, but you've still got Ticks up. You've still got Russell. 
Every attack Russell makes now is is just gonna melt uh, Azrael and stuff. Yeah, but that so that's also gonna trigger Andrea's healing. Yes, but they don't have the damage pressure to kill Russell. That's so true. And and you look at Ooh, Russell, he's getting jumps. Fiona shields, he's getting the Lion, which is coming out now to give even more shields and defense. It's crazy. Oh, Tick's dead. That's great. That's gonna be and that's gonna be death passive damage. It depends who killed him though. Ah no! I, ah, d -d 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 -d. No one killed As him. Azrael yeah. killed him, and he wasn't there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. That means no ticks damage. That's a really nice way to get around it. That's what's good about Azrael, actually. Here. Oh. Oh, health swap on Fiona. Sherlock, in, uh, Sherlock needs to get that dove off on Russell. Yeah. Although I think Russell's going to get in the air again, and that's devastating. Unless, oh, oh carry on the snipe. Yeah, one in three chance of that happening. Oh. Oh, Sherlock's he, dead. I think Sherlock's dead. Yeah, yeah, totally. That is unfortunate. Really unfortunate. And pushing through into carry there as well. The arrows continue. It's... Dazzle on Azrael. That's what? funny. Oh, why are you hitting carry Azrael? Oh, oh no. If, if Azrael does a lot of damage here on his death passive, it still could be a problem here. Betty's been dubbed the whole fight as well. Yeah. As uh, Andrea's going to live here just fine. Betty dead. Oh, oh and Russell's uh, going Russell to get in the air. Yeah, but Azrael might. Azrael's going to come back. Oh, oh, oh! Boy. I missed it. No. no see, called it. <laughs> Even with the snipe from Azrael, the block from Russell, it wasn't enough. He's dead. Oh, that was such a close fight. Look at those heels. Thirty-one oh, million. Man. That is that unfortunate. Was, I think that was that's that was a high roll for D Dragon Betty being dumped that whole time. It really was, and it it allowed him to to just. And the thing is, as well, he's cycling. He's constantly cycling that carry, which just kept Russell in check actually for a lot of that. Because the thing is, the carry is faster than Russell because he's opted for elusive mirror yeah. very fast. So now it's Scribe's turn as the attacker. Still going to have that carry being a menace. Let's see what happens. All right, here comes yeah, Forkus. Forkus yeah. Oh, that's massive. Already, look at Andrea. So low. Oh, my word. If Andrea doesn't heal, oh, my goodness, because Forkus killed all the guys and hit Andrea at he the same heal. time. Yeah, so didn't heal. Oh, my word. That is Forkus showing you why he's good. That Yeah, Andrea's... Oh, what? Oh. There you go. Oh, Fiona, come on. Yeah, that that that's devastating. With no Andrea now, there's nothing. There's nothing for D-Dragon. I don't know, there's a lot of doves out. There are, Betty but Rus Russell's just going to hunt. He's, he's, he's hunting with those arrows. Yeah, Sherlock I mean, can health swap, sure. Uh, but um, it's health... Mm, yeah, actually, that's great. Fiona freed Betty. Blood frenzy, the blood frenzy's helping out. Yeah. Health swap just again. I think Tix is dead. He's, it's, it's, oh, Sherlock, that's his last health swap. His cards are gone, which means... Oh, the, 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 the Dazzle, though. Oh, he's um, twined. He's twined. He oh, he was. The twine. Russell's dead. Oh, no. What? Carrie, Carrie's been twined. Carrie's oh, back. Here Sherlock, stop this. Nonsense. What? Oh. The energy steel oh, and reflected twine. It's no! all too much. Fuck it's you, all Sherlock! Much. What? <laughs> Broken oh, hero. No. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I can't believe that. That was so sacky. Reflected twine from Sherlock onto the Russell was clutch it really was it was beautiful i can't believe that that's not fair it's so hacky d dragon that's the thing he's oh, running a team no. i've said this before in previous idol heroes 10 star cup tournaments i've said it i'm standing by it the teams that do great are teams that have <laughs> insane variability if you've got random high roll mechanics you're gonna yeah. win because you're if you're rolling enough dice and you just want a natural yeah. 20 well, we said it yesterday. He can't keep getting away with this. I mean, he's running a five-hero lineup. He might win the whole bloody thing, and then we're all going to look stupid, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, he lost to Mr. Wheels, right? Don't he forget did. that. He did. He did.
it got it did get melted against Mr. Wheels. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. So, Scribe, you are attacking again. Uh, I think. No, you're defending. You, so you you flip and need to win three in a row. D Dragon, cook my friend. Go ahead, chef it up. You 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 have like oh, three man. fights to win just one of them. That's it. You just literally have to just win one yeah. of the next three fights. Let's oh, Scribe, it. that's so Shall sad. MVP of this tournament. Absolutely, what an incredible hero. I mean, we've seen reverse sweeps before. Anything can happen. Here comes Here Forkus. Forkus. Beautiful. Uh, that Andrea is a low health. That's where we want to start. We're looking good. Oh, reflecting the CC again on uh, Betty. Oh, Russell's no. Hey, Fiona Andrew. breaks the... This is this is looking good. This is looking good. Oh, the dove on Fiona. That's heartbreak. Oh, the twine on Andrea. No heals for you. Oh, Sherlock. but Sherlock's going to health swap. Uh, he's going to be just fine from these arrows. Oh, Tix is dead. Oh, by no, Azrael's hand as well, so no no ticks trigger. Oh, buddy. We're about to see Betty fall too. Yeah, there's no chance Betty lives here. And um, we're going to see a health swap onto the Russell now, I think. Let's see, we'll see. We'll, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. no. no, no, no focus. Yeah, the nice thing here is that the Dazzle is going to remove all of uh, Sherlock's Oh, um, that's big from Gary. It is, it Andrea, is. Andrea's dead here. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, it switched. He's dazzled. It goes wherever. Because <gasps> of the reflect. reflect. Yeah. The reflect. Oh, it's, it's gonna get him anyway. Oh, you got you. Oh, Sherlock, that was the worst possibility. The re Oh, what? Oh. oh. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, D Dragon, look at you, you absolute shining king. D -Dragon. 3 and 0. Oh. I just want you to know. I both hate you and love you. This team is just toxic. It's so toxic. <laughs> oh, oh my man. Goodness. Scribe. Scribe. Oh, Scribe. I am I am heartbroken for Scribe. That is tough. We go up to winner's bracket now. Where we're we're gonna have to find out who gets to fight D Dragon again. That's that's the joys. Ooh, first wild boy. Oh, that's gonna be a good one. Yes, it's gonna be absolutely exciting. So I yeah, mean, Mr. Wheels. Wheels is, Wheels is hoping here because he he clocked uh, D Dragon with no issues. Yeah, I I think Mr. Wheels is in it to win it here. I I think Mr. Wheels is in the strongest position of any contender in this tournament. His his team is excellent. I don't know. Wild uh, boys is got a pretty strong team as well. That's true. We could see a Garuda win this tournament. I I that. It's crazy. There are three teams left. Two of them are pretty much the same, and then there's Wild Boy. It's, yeah, yeah. It's exciting. It's very exciting. So for those of you that haven't seen Mr. Wheels and Wild Boy, if you've just tuned in, take a look. Mr. Wheels is rocking a Waldeck, a Forkus, a Carry, a Sherlock, an Azrael, and an Andrea. Wild Boy is bringing similar heroes there, both with Sherlock, both with Waldeck, uh, both with Azrael, both with Carry, uh, both with Forkus. The only difference is Garuda. Andrea. And Garuda. That's it. Ooh. So and we just oh. saw how strong Andrea Sherlock is. Yeah. So we are seeing in all of these teams the trio, the Trinity, which is Sherlock, Azrael, Carrie, and Mr. Wheels and both D Dragon are opting for Andrea to heal the whole team. Garuda's gonna heal yeah. herself. Honestly, I, you I see, think thinking Garuda's about this. Huge. Yeah, because Garuda will just Garuda might be really strong against Azrael and, and Karen because she just heals up every time a hero dies. Mm. Oh my word. Ah. So, we got you know Rui. what? Oh, actually, actually, Mr. Yes. Wheels' as Sherlock has got the edge here. We, just, we, we know the HP. No, the HP oh. build over the attack build. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so true. That's so true. Um, because it would make sense for Wild Boy if it was lowest HP to then reflect Russell's, but there's no Russell's left. All the Russell's have been eliminated, so that doesn't even matter. So yeah, now it's HP is the best build for Sherlock, given where the tournament's shaped up to. Oh. And Mr. Wheels's Waldeck is faster than Wild Boy's, as is with his Azrael. Yep. Uh other than that, it's Pretty, it's it's a it's a mirror match. The only thing yep. is, 
Wild Boys Azrael will get progressively stronger. Um, how so? Antlers. It's it's not splendid. Ah, oh. <laughs> every time. Bows out. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I think speed's better here on the Azrael, to be honest. I, I think, yeah, yeah. I think once again, well, even though... Melodic, melodic's far better. Yeah, yeah. I, I, actually, no, I think I think Antlers is better than Melodic. It's just the difference is you get the active skill round one. Yeah. Because uh, Antlers has more damage forms. Um, but um, mm. I, I hate crit precision. I don't think that's a very good stone at all. I think that's a low roll when he was trying to swap his stones around. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's that's bad. Uh, so I, I think speed is just the definitely best Azrael. Even though it's three and one split, so technically it's slow, uh, it it doesn't matter. It's still gonna be faster. Yeah. So I, I think I think Mr. Wheels has a complete advantage on that sense. And the only thing I think the difference is it's it's the cat Garuda, this new hero we have access to thanks to auspicious lucky cat. I think that's cat that's Garuda the hero. Cat Andrea. Yeah. So we're gonna have to see how that plays out. Auspicious lucky yeah. cat been great this tournament. Really has been. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see. So, yeah. Mr. Wheels, you're the attacker. Only one way to find out. Let's do it. Let's see how you do. Yeah. Semi-finals. Absolutely. It's all to play for now. Three competitors left. Focus. Huge focus hits there. Focus. Azrael's nearly dead immediately. Yeah. If he gets an active, that's massive damage. Oh, oh brutal. Is. Is. Yeah. That's melodic strings doing things, man. It's such a good artifact. Oh, I'm Sherlock. Yeah, although if you look here, with an active coming. Yep, and Carry staying down. Carry resurrecting for Wild Boy. This this is looking oh, like Wild I'll Boy's swap. fight. I'll swap. Yeah, more doves. Triple Double doves. Dove. Oh, here this comes this the is active from Garuda. Bang. Bang. That was clean. Very clean. Wild Boy with an immediate defensive win there. Very very strong team. Garuda. Proving herself a hero that a lot of people have like. There's this there's this mental stigma I think towards Garuda, which is like, eh, it's Garuda. She's not that good. I mean, Garuda's insane. Like Garuda, yeah. this is the she's only ridiculous. Garuda in the tournament, and she's in the semis. Although Carrie being down, like if Carrie was up, she would have stolen the energy there, and it, it could have been anyone's game. Yeah, true. There's a so, lot of counters. There's a lot of counters. Right. Yeah, you've got you've got uh, ticks can attack steal Garuda. You've got uh, the silence from ticks. You've got the energy steal from carries. You've got insane Sherlock dove high rolls. There's loads of things that can stop mm -hmm. a Garuda, uh, and she's slow. So Betty's twine. Mm -hmm. There's so many counters. But if a Garuda slips the net, and she's a chunky girl, she will stick around. Indeed, it's, it's good. And as we said, auspicious lucky cat giving you a control immunity HP artifact and damage reduction. It's a great choice for her. It is. It is the new artifact on the block, and it is excellent. Either way, All Mr. Right. Wheels is defending now against Wild Boy. Run it back. Run it back. Let's see how this goes. Is this another win for Wild Boy's Garuda? Let's see. Because if so, yeah. I, I think this, 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 this could we could be seeing the game. We could. This could be the match, Ooh. right? Garuda, you could be watching right now, Azrael. showing she's the Azrael winner. went down without doing anything. Yeah. Oh my Sherlock god! Gonna have a health swapping coming, potentially, and and Sherlock carries dead again. This is the thing; these, these fragile yeah, carries on Sherlock, and then doving Sherlock again. Here we go Bang. again. Clean up from Garuda. Oh my god! Clean team, insane performance. Wild boy <laughs> dominating with the Sherlock Garuda combo. This is a wow. fantastic team. Really abusing the Azrael carry Sherlock synergy by just dropping in a final hero to help here. You've got yeah. focus for disruption, and then the, the wall deck. All three teams in the finals are running wall deck. Yeah, it's it's just good, and I think Garuda brings that they're one all, thing, which is perfect synergy but maximum damage. They're all running wall deck. They're all running Sherlock. I think they're yeah. all running Azrael. They're all running carry and focus. I don't, uh, no, I don't actually, think, no. No, D Dragon, D -Dragon doesn't have focus. focus. No, because so he opted for the Gurk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we could be seeing this as a really common core, um, which is Waldeck for damage and then Sherlock Azrael carry. Because Azrael is damage. Yeah. And I, I, I just, yeah, you just look at that lineup and you think, yeah, yeah, no, Garuda makes so much sense. So much sense. And, and that's this it, people. A, yeah. They're not running Betty because they're like, nah, reset to Sherlock. 
is better than because because so doves good. are better than twine. Yeah, doves are better than twine. Twine yeah. doesn't stop passives. Doves does. Wow. <sighs> yep. All right. So we, which what means, we could see here is is if Mr. Wheels drops down, he rematches with D Dragon. We might see an, a rematch of uh, Wild Boy and Mr. Wheels. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we could be watching what we're going to be seeing in the finals. This, this could it. be the same two in the finals. It's it's crazy. Either way, uh, we're back to Mr. Wheels as the attacker. Mr. Wheels, you got to do something here. You got to stop that Garuda. I know Auspicious Lucky Cat makes it hard, but you've yeah, got to try. Well, he needs. He needs um, better RNG for the doves because Sherlock um, has gotten him twice. Yeah. Oh, nice. Azrael looking great here. Dying. Ooh. Ooh. Neither Sherlock doing anything here. No. And, Wheels uh, has the faster be, Sherlock. There's going to be another Garuda active. Oh, like Sherlock dead, but it's not going to matter. Garuda's getting an active. Oh, she didn't get doved either. No. Oh, this is going to be yeah, devastating. Um, she might, uh, the, uh, Andrea Heel might clutch this. It does. Nice. Harry dead. Sherlock's still it's alive here. Sherlock dubs that Garuda, it's game over. It's it's Ooh. all on those doves. She's getting hit so much, she's going to get another active. Carrie's not back. Here oh, we no. go. Another active incoming for Garuda. The dove whiffs. And here we go. It's GG. Oh my word, no, the health swap's back! Oh goodness me, Sherlock's so sticky. Because the thing is, Andrea buffs all your damage reduction. Oh, Carrie mercs Azrael, who was about to get an active... Still no no dove! dove. Energy steal from Carrie coming in clutch. Azrael is back. There is the dove. Mr. Wheels! Clutch is a win! <gasps> there He's you go. Oh, brilliant. Oh, man. Could we see a reverse sweep? Because that was decisive. That was good. That, that was a very good one. I don't match. think that was decisive at all. But <laughs> that, that was a Sherlock health swap clutch that kept him in it. I mean, were you watching that? That poor Sherlock was like, Garuda! Ale- Akio Dove! No, Akio <laughs> Dove! Will you freaking turn into a Dove? Du- 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 <laughs> it, it was. It was not decisive at all. That was. That was close. Too close yeah. to call. Fair, fair, yeah. but <sighs> in reverse sweep, D Dragon. Reverse sweep. <laughs> yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. I feel so sorry for this Sherlock. His magic poker Ooh. is doing nothing. Let's see. Oh. Let's see. Focus. It's, it's happening. Oh, the health swap was beautiful there. Oh, Garuda just healing. Oh, Andrea's dead already. This is terrible. That's You need Andrea to tank the Garuda active because of all the yeah, damage reduction. Yeah. Is Sherlock going to health swap here? Oh, he's too low. He's he's used them it all. doesn't matter. He's dead. Carrie didn't get the energy steal. No! Here comes Garuda. Bang! Bang. Bang. Oh. Azrael back for the clutch. It's not enough. <laughs> Willie Wildboy gets the three-one win. That's gonna do it, folks. Willie Wildboy goes through to the finals. Garuda clutches in. Garuda too strong, and now we see a Mister Wheels D Dragon rematch in the losers bracket to decide who has to fight again with another one. Ah, oh, speaks. I'm excited. Yeah. Well, we we go back to. I mean, Mr. Wheels should feel pretty confident. Um, yeah, because he, he, what is it, 3-0 sweep D-Dragon, didn't he? Yeah. So it's, it's, we'll see if it, we'll see if that was a fluke or if that was a sign of the times to come. <laughs> well, yes, which means Mr. Wheels is now uh, sitting pretty in, in losers and your boy, Willie Wildboy, who'd have thought it? This this is this is his tournament to win. I think he's absolutely performed out of his mind. Has he lost a match? Uh, no, not lost, but lost a fight. Like he, the worst he's had is three one. That's yeah, the worst. He's, that's he's, he's lost once in each match he's, he's done in the last. He didn't get a bye to start with. 
No. He, he has just gone 3 0, 3 0, 3 1, 3 1, and is now in the finals. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. If All you right. want to keep up with the tournament, the bracket can be placed in chat. Scribe's going to post it right now. That's how good Scribe is. He'll do it immediately. And you guys can watch along with the challenge link. Beaten to it. Oh, nice. Um, but yeah, let's let's bring up these teams. So we have Mr. Wheels versus D Dragon. Now, Scribe, we've already seen this match happen once before. Anything you want to say before we get started? The scribe? Not Scribe. Sorry, Smeeks. Smeeks, sorry. I'm just getting... I'm, I'm sorry. Scribe probably just crapped himself. He's like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, wait, there's, there's fights going on? What? Hold on. What? Uh, no, no, you go um, back in your box. Go be Bop Boop and do your moderator stuff. <laughs> look, I... Uh... I hope it's closer than the last time. I feel like I feel like Mr. Wheels will win, but mm-hmm. I think D Dragon may pull something out of the hat here. Yeah. I, I for D Dragon's sake, I want to see D Dragon get a win. He has the faster Sherlock. He does, he does. And we've seen d- d- doves doves are jammy, mate. If you get those doves yeah. where you need them, it's a good it's time. The, yeah, it's the mirror match of Andrea. Yeah, it, it all comes down to uh Sherlock. Yeah. <laughs> it all comes down to Sherlock. Yeah, the teams are pretty much identical except for the Forkus. But the thing is, we've seen we've seen Forkuses blow out D Dragon's team, where it's just like, ah, you're all dead. Because this is the, this yeah. is the advantage Mister Wheels has. If that Forkus hits the entire back line, Girk dies, Azrael dies, Carrie dies, and Azrael uh, and Andrea gets marked, which means Andrea doesn't get yeah. any healing because it's all simultaneous. And then Andrea's going to buff himself from all the deaths. And that's just going to yeah. trigger the focus mark, which means Andrea with no health and no heals. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's definitely advantage Mr. Wheels, but perhaps yeah. we'll see a miracle. Well, D-Dragon has had some insane angels look over him and some crazy shenanigans yeah. happen. Let's hope this is a good fight. This Let's do a, it. This is sort of like a, a rematch from last tournament too, because D-Dragon defeated Mr. Wheels as... Uh, as defender, as defender to get oh, back into the final. You know what I was huge. saying about the Forkus and the, the Andrea? Forkus it literally down happened. Down. Yeah, it literally happened. That Forkus is high bonkers. Roll. Sherlock back. Dubbing yeah. Andrea. Blinking, you will miss it. Oh, oh my word. Hold on. Hold on, hold on it, a minute. It, it's close, but Mr. Wheels has the advantage. He's got the undubbed Sherlock. Oh, now, but never mind! <gasps> oh, what a return! Oh, oh, oh no, this is bad. dead! It's just no Carrie! What? They're both back! Carrie, energy stealing! Marking what a reversal! Oh my god! Uh, Sherlock has an active! No uh, way! Oh, they're both back again! Oh. Dove and Carrie, huge! The health swap! Huge, huge, huge! Oh. huge. D Dragon! What was that? Out of nowhere. Oh, oh my oh. word. <sighs> he starts this off. He was 3 0 swept last time and immediately comes out. He's cricking all the all the joints. Win. Yeah, wow. Do not put D Dragon in the corner. He will come back and bite you in the ass. Mr. Wheels is quaking. What a matchup. <laughs> the gurk carry no it wasn't shut up stop giving that gurk any credit at all it's only because of that gurk. he's a lucky charm if anything that's it i can't believe this oh man run it back run it back we are going with this time it is mr wheels as defender d dragon on attack now will this be two defensive wins back to back because then it's just first to three which is very exciting However, yeah. if D Dragon wins this, it's all oh man! Can you imagine? Can you imagine D Dragon coming we from get, the fucking? Stars? I know we get content regardless yeah, what happens. Know. That fork is oh, again fork is hit, missing carry, but hits Andrea, which puts Andrea in a really rough spot. That's fine. It, it worked out last time, didn't it? <gasps> the dove on Andrea. Oh, D Dragon's in a bad spot. Oh, Not dubbing Waldeck. Missing doves. Missing doves. Let's oh. see. 
Oh, no. I think that Andrea is going down. Yeah, yeah Waldex down. Andrea is dubbed for uh, Mr. Wheels, though. Oh, that's true. That's true. Oh, carry dodging. Oh, this is such an interesting and fight. And coming, carry out. Bang. Oh, oh Sherlock! Killing. What a joke! again. Oh, but that Andrea is going to be a menace. Can Here Azrael kill? Israel. No way. No way. Do you know what this means? That that that's one Sherlock alive for D-Dragon and one Sherlock dead for Mr. Wheels. This is huge. Oh, oh. he's out of health swaps. Oh. Yikes. Oh. <laughs> we go to a defensive win on both sides. Run it back. Run it back. <laughs> well played, Mr. Wheels. Even without your Sherlock, you were able to clutch it with an Azrael active. Which means it is first to three. Doesn't matter how you do it. Doesn't matter if you have to punch him in the face, slap him in the balls. It doesn't matter. You've just got to do it. First to three. Good luck, folks. Mr. Wheels now okay. in the Will driving seat. Andrea. If it does, it's, it's been yeah, a great yeah. time every time. He doesn't. Misses. Oh, that's oh. big. This this is looking good for D-Dragon. Really good for D-Dragon. He's, dubbed, he's dubbed, uh Waldeck. Oh, frick. That's not good. Sherlock losing his active, which gives him a worse crowd control chance. And the oh, dub, double dove. That's massive. <sighs> that's so good. Mr. Wheels has got this, surely. I mean, the dub on Sherlock's brutal. Oh, carry back. Carry back. That's oh. a lot of damage. That that's is. That's a lot of damage. Are we going to see the Sherlock break free, perhaps? I think um, so. No, not this time. Oh, I there's a health swap and a break free. It couldn't have happened at a better time. Bang, bang. Andrea still dubbed, though. But we might oh. see Mr. Wheels as Andrea go down here. The Phoenix to finish off. Yes. That'll do it. Yes, oh. yes, yes. The dub. Oh, Azrael. Azrael. 21 million damages! Woo. What one. a hero. Sweet potential. Honestly, you uh, Azrael as just like he he was sleeping. Not many people ran Azrael last tournament. I think people just kind of forgot about him because everyone was distracted by Betty coming out. <laughs> that was that was insane. Yeah, that is oh, two yeah. one to Mr. Wheels. Run it back. What a matchup. What a matchup this is. Next is D Dragon attacking. Mr. Wheels defending. D Dragon It'll has to win this. This, this is Come it. On, D Dragon. If, if D Dragon team. loses, he's gone. D Dragon, our finalist from last time's tournament, having to battle against me, losing at the last hurdle. Yeah. Here we go. It all comes down to this. Focus. Focus. Missing Andrea. Oh, didn't kill Huge. Carrie either. Huge. Okay. Energy steal on Andrea. Oh, the dove on Waldeck is unfortunate. That's so sad. It is if what it is. That oh, the bleed still triggers though, in in, in some sense. Uh, Not yeah, a lot. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. Sherlock <sighs> dubbed, Andrea dubbed. That's big. That's big, really big, good. Big. Unfortunately, Carrie dodges. Oh, Oh my word. No, D Dragon looks he, real solid here. No, no, that Azrael has an active coming unless he's energy stolen by Carrie. Beautiful. Oh, Sherlock breaks free. Yep. Carrie. I mean, oh, 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 we got an active the from Sherlock. Look at the health difference here. I mean, and Azrael is going to cause a cascade. But then that means Andrea will heal. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to have another energy drain on Andrea. No active for him. That's good. Here we go. Energy steal on Sherlock as well. Redoved. Oh, wow. Bang. I mean, I'm looking yes. at this active skill. It's stolen oh, um, again. That Azrael being denied so many times. Harry, so strong. Active incoming next round. Carries back. She's not fast enough. Energy stolen. Sherlock. Dubbing the Azrael and energy stealing, and he's oh, dead. And the heels again from Andrea, and Azrael has an active. Oh, this oh. is surely, surely curtains for Mr. Wheels. Unless, no, Harry misses. 
Going for the first in slot yet again. Oh, my word. Okay, now we need to see a dub on this Andrea. Just shut Andrea down. Close his book. Come on. This is not over. Azrael can come back. He will come back. Yeah. Oh, my word. Here's the Phoenix buffing what little damage does come from Sherlock. Oh, never nah. mind. Mr. Wheels didn't get the Resurrects. That's the dub he needed. D-Dragon's looking great right now. Oh, the break Active free. Incoming. Active uh -oh. incoming for Azrael. <sighs> Oh, Sherlock's Sherlock. dead! What a mix-up. We're going to times two speed, baby. We are on a situation where it's Andrea's oh. and Sherlock's, Azrael's and all against each other. Azrael is faster. It's only a matter of time. Oh, my word. Yes, Mr. Wheels does have the advantage because he does have that faster, Azrael. You are correct. The Although, it was all down to the Sherlock. It's all over. Then it again, D-Dragon has the faster carry, so that could no. do something. It may do, it may do, but I don't think so. I think it's curtains. I don't know, I don't know. We're going to see both Azrael's come back, neither with actives. Oh my word, never mind, there's the heal up from the Andrea. Yeah, but here comes the end of round damage. Round 19, there's a huge hit. Is this enough? No, no round 20. Oh my word, we uh, could see an active skill, never mind, no. Azrael's dead. Round 21. Oh, this is oh, so no, close. So intense. This is D Dragon needs to win this as attacker. <laughs> they both kill each other again. Oh my word! Round twenty four. No draw. Look at the health. The oh no, he heals back up. Oh no! There's so much damage pressure. No. Ah, there's more healing here. Not that there was it's any coming. need for it. Oh my goodness. Hold both as rails. Oh, no, he's dead. Look at that's that. That's it. I told you. I told you. It was all Mr. Over. Wheels is in the finals, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. D Dragon, commiserations, oh friend. It was so close. Oh, 74 million from an Azrael. 67 million for D Dragon. What insane damage. Look at the healing. Sherlock dying proves the difference. Wow. The faster Azrael proves the difference. Yeah, that is it. What an unfortunate situation to find yourself in, D-Dragon. You got cocky, you ran Gurk, you didn't put speed on your Azrael, you were punished because uh, of it. It's that simple. He ran, he ran Azrael, no, not Azrael, he ran Gurk, and he still made it to third place. Yeah. Which goes to show no. just how strong this style of team is, which means we are now going to see Mr. Wheels go head to head against against Willy Wildboy, who he lost to the in a three and match. one. So the what Mr. Match. Wheels needs to do now is he needs to beat Willy Wildboy and then Twice. beat him again, right? Because it's it's a it's this is a loser's double elimination tournament, so you have to get beaten twice. Now Mr. Wheels has already been beaten, so he's already lost his 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 one up. It's a, yeah, it's going to take a monumental effort. It's going to take all of the RNG. It is going to be insane. I am absolutely terrified for this one. Now, in the attacking seat, we have Willy Wildboy. Defending is Mr. Wheels. So, for the <sighs> final time, Smeegs, let's take a look at these teams and let's just talk about what we expect to see. <sighs> well... We've got the it's it's pretty much a mirror match except for Andrea and Garuda. And last time we saw the Garuda with her insane active prove the difference. Yeah. I mean, with the especially with the lucky cat on her, increasing her control immunity, Sherlock could do nothing. Absolutely. Oh, I've put Willy Wildboy on the screen twice. My bad. That is one second. <laughs> we stand by oh. with some technical difficulties. Yep. 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 If you are not aware, Subathon begins in less than 48 hours. Oh. That's right, folks. Under 48 <laughs> hours for the Subathon. Get hey. your bitches in. Get your guests. <laughs> hey, yes. Speaks. It, 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 they're on the screen. We can talk now. Right. Andrea versus Garuda. That's the main difference here. Oh. oh, goodness. Yes. Andrea versus Garuda. 
Yeah. The uh, the attack attack Sherlock didn't prove as much of a detriment as we suspected. Mm-hmm. Nor did the slower Waldeck or the slower Azrael. But you never know. RNG is a cruel bitch. <laughs> yes. And uh, I, I honestly think this is one of these situations where I think Wild Boy has the stronger team because of the simply because of Garuda. That's it. That is the one difference. And his Indeed. weakness of lowest HP wall deck is not countered by there's no Russell. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. Both running all the same heroes otherwise than that. And I think Indeed. if the Dove from the Ruyi Scepter Sherlock, which is on both teams, right? If that Dove yeah. upsets anything in either engine, that's going to be huge. And I think that's the way either of them win this. If we see yeah. a Dove to Garuda, GG. It's going to be tough. She's got a lot of control immunity. If we see a Dove to Andrea, GG. But again, it's going to be tough. We see a lot of control immunity. So this is very tricky. And both of them are going to struggle. But yeah. Mr. Wheels, again, and this is the difference. This is the one thing that puts Mr. Wheels potentially with a small advantage is the speed on the Azrael. Yes. But, but Wild Boy's oh, Garuda. Well. <laughs> the Garuda. <laughs> it's it's like we're looking into a PTSD inflicted memory of all the times Garuda's stuffed us over. Oh, in the Void Vortex, absolutely. All those yes. Void Vortex times. <laughs> yep. So, all right. Wild Boy, you are our attacker. And you're going up against Mr. Wheels. Best of luck. Here we go. Welcome to the finals. There are two competitors left. If Mr. Wheels loses this, Willy it's Wild Boy right. wins undefeated. Best of luck. Here we go, folks. So, we start with Forkuses on either side. On Andrea, that's big. Yep. Missing Garuda. Oh my word, that great active skill there from Waldeck. Right, this so is both both teams are looking. <gasps> Ooh, Willy Ow. Wild Boy Sherlock getting doved. That's big. Yes. yes, yes. Okay. Oh, we've got Garuda with an active. That's true. And Carrie doesn't oh, come back. Oh, damage. oh, but Sherlock is guaranteed to hit Garuda. Doesn't get but the dove. dove. And he wipes. Oh, That's come on. Today. Wow. Wild, uh, Wild Boy's Lucky Cat Garuda just resisting most CC. It's ridiculous. What an artifact. So strong. Which puts Wild Boy up 1 0 to Mr. Wheels. Honestly, it, literally, you see the fight. If that had gone different, if that dove had worked, Mr. It Wheels was, would have won. Do you think? I mean, yeah. I think Azrael and Carrie were back next round for um, Willy Wild Boy. True, true, but but you never know. No, but I think it would have definitely given him the edge. The edge, uh, yeah. It wasn't but, over, but advantage wheels in that scenario. Yeah, but if it's if it's just coming down to a CC, you've got to bear in mind how control immune cat makes Garuda. It's it's, yeah. it's you 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 you're at a disadvantage at that point. And uh, yeah, we are going to see another fight now. This is Wild Boy as defender, Mister Wheels on the attacking seat which means his Sherlock goes first. So this is going to be nice for Mr. Wheels. He's got the fastest mm. Sherlock this time. But is that Let's enough? Let's hope the focus uh, misses Andrea this time. Indeed. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, great. The fork is hit. Hit Garuda Missing. and misses Andrea. That, that's a perfect scenario. All right. All right. You, you could see Garuda's getting yeah. melted. Garuda's oh, dead. Oh, there dead. you go. If Forkus hits Garuda, that's, cause that's, that's a, it works. Okay, okay, but Sherlock is up and strong. He is, but I, that's... Oh. Bing, bang, bosh. That's what happens. Forkus hits Garuda. It's loads nuts. of damage. Wow. Folks, this is what we call wow. finals. One all each. Absolutely brilliant. Let's go. No defensive win yet. No, both of them are looking real strong. So we're going to send back in. Now it's Mr. Wheels defending Wild Boy as the aggressor. Gives his Sherlock the advantage on speed. Let's send it back. Here we go. Okay. Focus. Hits Hit Andrea. It. Let's see. Where's this focus going? Hits Garuda. Oh, this is really good. 
Now, where's Waldeck's active skill going to go here for Mr. Wheels? Into the other no. Waldeck. Ah, oh, Garuda heals. That's terrible, oh. Andrea Dove. That's not good. Garuda resisting. Of course she is. She's a bitch. Oh. And then Garuda's got an active in the tank if there's no steal. I mean, I'm looking at Carrie. Carrie. Can she get it? Carrie. What a whiff! Misses. No! What is going on? Your but Garuda is insane, Willy Wild Boy. Garuda can't kill everyone. Oh, never mind. Here she goes. She did kill everyone. She oh. feathered She feathered Sherlock to death and then did the rest. Oh, oh. my word. That is 2-1. All attacking victories so far. No defensive win. Both players looking for that to get the chance to be either winner or push it to another fight. If Wild Boy gets a defense win oh, now... Man. He takes the tournament. That's it. It could be yeah. GG. You could be about to watch the final fight here. And this you know is mad. Sherlock dubbed Mr. Wheels as Sherlock, so he couldn't even attempt to health swap or anything like that. Oh, Poor Garuda wiped him. Heartbreaking. Brutal. Folks, here we go now. This is basically match point to Willy Wildboy. Mr. Wheels attacking. If Wildboy gets this, that's a defensive win. Three wins to one loss. And that's all she wrote. Willy Wildboy takes the whole tournament. Here we go. Let's see. Forkus hits Garuda. Hitting Garuda. Return hitting Andrea. Oh, this is big, mad. Big, big. That <sighs> Garuda heals. Sherlock is dead. That is that huge. Was, that was explosive. Oh, the active for Waldeck, though. Oh, my word. Will we see Sherlock dove this Garuda? Oh. We need it. We fucking need it. Here oh. we go. It all comes down to this. It all comes down to this. He, he gets it! That's He's big! Holding He's holding in. You need Azrael back. Let back. Carry. What Energy is he stealing? Anything? Oh, here it is now. It, as long as the Azrael and the carry don't come back for Wild Boy, that Azrael active kills Garuda. Oh, you, 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 can't, you can't give uh, Garuda the active. Bang. That's it. Mr. Wheels. No defensive go down. win. Nope. Now it's literally first to a defensive win. It is two all. Wheels. Advantage wheels. Yep. Oh my word. Guys, yeah. we have a finals on our hand. Mr. Wheels is now defender. If he gets this defensive win against Wild Boy, that could be it. Although Wild Boy is in a good position because he is the attacker. Here we go. Focus. Hitting Andrea. Yeah. Focus. Hitting Garuda. This is looking Big. good. Oh, the energy steal into the Azrael. Oh. Garuda instantly killed. Sherlock up though. Sherlock is still up. Oh, not oh, for long. That's brutal. Health swap? No. Oh, Wheels, ho, ho. Wheels has this. This is it. Oh my word. Mr. Wheels. Go into the death match. Yeah! Okay, for those of you that don't know what just happened, Mr. Wheels has already lost a fight. And Willy Wildboy is undefeated. Wish the Wheels came through, went through loser's bracket, and is back up top. This is a double elimination tournament, and Willy Wildboy has just lost the match Ooh. against Mr. Wheels. So Mr. what we Wheels do now... Change into his brown pants. <laughs> yes. So both people here have now lost a match. Both of them have no chance to lose another match. We are going to swap it round, which makes Mr. Wheels the attacker, Wild Boy the defender, and it comes down. Forget everything you've seen so far. This is all... all about this. Yeah. So folks, I am hecking inside it. So excited. This is the past. It was, last IHXC was the first time this had ever happened. I'm pretty sure. No, the second. No, the second. Yeah, the it second. happened with me and Sol. I managed to beat Sol and then he beat me. Oh, uh, that's mm. right. That's right. Well, yeah. two, uh, two IHXCs in a row. Yeah. So technically, this is the first time this has happened without me in the finals. <laughs> I think. Right. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, it's been a yeah. while. Deflate your head there, buddy. Or, or maybe Mop Tosh it happened to as well. I think we do see this in the finals quite a lot. Um, Because the, the teams are quite close now. People are getting good. People are good at building. True, true, true. Yeah. Okay. I'm fairly certain we have yeah. yet to have a finals, um, a, a winner who has not lost one match, at least. 
Well, they uh, either they've come up from the either they've come up from the losers bracket, or in the case of uh, Wild Boy here, they lost that last one and had to go into the uh, the double. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm sure Sol won the first IHXC without dropping a match. No, I think X Marks beat him. It, um, Are we sure? Or, or, no, because he, he lost in the, he lost in the first he lost the first round and then came up to rematch him and lost three 0 Oh, maybe. I can't remember. I can't remember. It's been a while. I'm sure, I'm sure of it. Yeah. Either way, folks, we have Wild Boy. Uh, oh, there's a little symbol there for Wild Boy saying he has a defensive win. He doesn't. It's not happened yet. It is nil-nil. <laughs> um, we're going to swap the teams. Right. And it is Mr. Wheels to go first. It's me. I, uh, my heart is in my mouth. I, I I don't think there's anything to yeah. say. We've just seen those two no. teams fight. We just We just run it. Go again. We go again. We go harder. We know what the stakes are. We know the win cons. All that's Let's left to do it. is run it back. Okay. Best of luck, Mr. Wheels. You're the attacker. Wild boy on the defense. We're watching those focuses. Who will they hit? Focus hits. Going Not Garuda. Garuda. Hitting but hitting Andrea. Andrea that's, that's already big. That's not looking good for Mr. Wheels here. His Azrael not managing to trigger. That's a shame. No. Oh, Garuda healing. Me. About to get it, get another heal. Oh, great! Dubbing out Forkus. Not Focus. so much of an issue this time. No, both Sherlock's have active skills. The health swap on the oh wow, Sherlock health swapping the other Sherlock, making That's carry true. kill him. Wild Boy is looking great right now. Here Pop we go, on. dubbing it. No one, no one is no. dubbed. Hitting, oh, Azrael triggering on Azrael. How is he killing this Garuda, though? That's the problem. He's, it, it, this is tough. Ooh. This is so tough. Is he, he hitting Sherlock, who just health swaps? Andrea. Doesn't care. Dub mm. on Andrea. Carry and Azrael return. Oh, this is, this is tough. Health swap again. Okay. Oh, carry's active. And there we go. Garuda is going to merc. Well, he might not even need to. Azrael's going to do the work here. <laughs> yep. That is brutal. Bang. Boom. Pow. Defensive that was win. Well played. Very well played. Willie Wildboy immediately getting the defensive win under his belt. So he's just at a race for three points now, which is really awkward for Mr. Wheels to concede that first fight. Not pleasant. Never know. He could He could get this next one, and then it's just an all-out race to three. Absolutely, that'd be fantastic. So, Mr. Wheels, if you can win this defensively, that's brilliant. But we do have Willie Wildboy on the aggression. It again comes down whose fork is going to hit. Will he get Andrea? Yes, he does. Will this Andrea, sorry, will this fork is hit the Garuda? Yeah. Yes, it does. That's great. Oh, Waldeck dead. Okay. Okay, but Andrea's dubbed. That's bad news. Azrael's dubbed on the other side. Oh, look how low oh, Garuda is. Andrea. If Carrie right. gets the energy steal on that Garuda, she's dead. And she does. Oh, Garuda barely alive. And then healing. Oh. Azrael hit the wrong hero. Yeah, it was close, but that extra HP on Garuda made the difference. Health swap. Huge carry active. Oh, wow. It's over. it's over. It is over. 2 0 to Willy Wild Boy. Brutal. Which means it's Mr. Wheels nothing. needs a reverse sweep. All for no- all or nothing for Mr. Will. He did it last time. He he, he came back from one nil down. He did. Oh, did he actually? Was it? Or was it? It was one uh, one, and then it was yeah. it was very close that last one. This is a lot more. Uh, it, awkward. It's three two. It was three two last time. Yep. And also, Mr. Wheels of the of those matches he won, two of them were killing Garuda in round one, which was Carrie stealing mm-hmm. Garuda's energy, Azrael doing an active, which meant Azrael didn't get hit by Forkers. And also, Forkus had to hit that Garuda. So yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of interactions he needs to happen. So he needs that Forkus mark on the Garuda. He needs Carry to then do a basic on the Garuda, and then trigger all the extra damage. Indeed, it's indeed. it's it's hard. It's very hard. But Oof. Mr. Wheels, best of luck. You're attacking again. You need this because if you lose, it's game over to Willy Wild Boy. It's all or nothing. Yeah, he's come so far. There's Forkus missing Garuda. Missing Garuda. Hitting, hitting Andrea. Andrea. Oh no, it's already looking terrible. It carries basic, hit the Garuda. That has realized just too much health. He can't kill himself with his own active. That's really awkward. Oh man, Mr. Yeah. Wheels. 
The Sherlock the is doved. doved. Oh, the health swap, the active from Carrie. Sherlock's going to die. It's not over. Oh. Garuda's Sherlock's not getting dead. inactive. No, but it doesn't matter. Unless Azrael does some insane shenanigans right now. He might. He, might. he does have an active. He does have Andrea's an active. doved. Oh, oh, it's all on this Azrael now. Oh, but he's going to be blasted by Carrie. That's brutal. It's oh. over. Here Fortune. we go. The active incoming. Unless he pops back up right now. Which he does, but it's he's just he's just come up to get smacked back down again. There's nothing there's nothing to stop that Garuda. Absolutely nothing. Andrea here. Then again. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, I don't know. God, no chance. Garuda too strong and with a sweep to close it out. Yeah, that was decisive. Three and oh. I've got to say, Wild Boy, what a tremendous performance. The only Garuda in the entire tournament goes on to win. And you can see there are things with Wild Boy's team. I'm sure he would want to change that crit precision as Rael. He'd probably go, you know what, if I went back yeah. and changed it, I'd probably try and get a better stone. Who knows? It 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 just came down to the the just uh, just good EG good fortune and you, a really you, strong. You tried your heart out. Yeah, Mister Wheels really 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 grinding came, up there. He came from all the way back in round one, sweeping everyone. He swept everyone up until meeting Willy Wild Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Did he sweep Deed Dragon as well? Yeah. Well he's he swept um his first three rounds lost to Willy and oh. then uh, went three one to D Dragon again. Yeah, so for those of you that have not been keeping up with the tournament, let us show you the way it has played out so you can see the final standings. So folks we had a lot of 3-0 sweeps in the early fights. Literally every single fight in round one was a 3-0 sweep. We saw Rubido eliminated. We saw Gimmerman eliminated. And then we went on to see D-Dragon again, just sweeping Flamin, sweeping Mr. Wheels. It was brutal. Mr. Wheels sweeping all his fights as well, sweeping Rubido, sweeping Scribe, but then, of course, getting pushed down against D-Dragon, which was crazy because they then had to rematch D-Dragon in the losers of round yeah. six and then beat and him 3-1. <laughs> yeah. And then we go in against Willy Wild Boy, who had to fight Mr. Wheels. That was the thing. Mr. Wheels fought Wild Boy, 3-1. Then it goes back yeah. for the rematch, 3-2. And then again, 3-0. And that was it. The only person Mr. Wheels lost to all tournament was Willy, Willy Wild, Wild Boy. Boy. And, and that leaves our winner. Congratulations, Willy Wild Boy. Only Amazing. a second IHXC, I believe. Yeah, fairly new, new, new blood. I mean, D Dragon as well. It's his second IHXC, uh, Stevens' second IHXC. So a lot of these people who came and saw the original IHXCs and were like, "Yeah, I wanna, I wanna give this a try," joined us um, mm -hmm. after the Rogan and Holmes Young bands and brought some really cool teams. And we've seen the meta innovate crazily. Well, like the last last tournament, it was just Russells and Vulcans everywhere, and um, ended up I ended up winning with a really clutch team using Russell Drake and Elusive Mirasaja. Uh, no Drakes mm -hmm. in sight at all. Drake was eliminated really early on, which was a Drake Sarja team, but with no Russell. So no no mm -hmm. firepower, no dazzle. Super fragile team from Gimmerman. And um it seems that these teams that are running, or especially Lucky Cat, and even in some cases Golden Crown as well, have seemed really good. And it's Garuda and Andrea to counter the death passive stuff whilst also using it yourself. As Ray L, honestly, bonkers hero of this tournament. Mm -hmm. Done more damage. I would say if you go look at the damage numbers of any hero of this tournament, I think Azrael has done more damage than anyone else. And oh, absolutely. That one twenty seven round fight where they did <laughs> seventy million and sixty million respectively. Oh insane. yeah. Crazy. And um that's it. Like it's the constant revival from the Azrael and the carry. Yeah. It's a disgusting interaction. And they are two heroes that both have continuous resurrection, which is a really powerful mechanic. And to see it in the finals mm. is no surprise. And yeah, we, we've seen those teams do well before. It was shocking no one ran Azrael really in the last tournament. 
and um, right. it's great to see now, him again. I think a couple of closing things. Mm-hmm. One, there's I've seen some uh, sentiment in chat, and honestly, throughout a few few different IHXC chats uh, regarding a possible rotating ban list. Interesting. What are your thoughts? My thoughts on a rotating ban list. I think it could be interesting um, where maybe we pose it to the, the the loser of the finals to ban a hero. And then we just have a, each tournament one hero gets banned in addition to the fixed bans, which are Rogan and Home Shown, which could be quite yeah, good. Yes, obviously we, we have your... Yeah, we'll, ha- we'll keep the fixed bans of Rogan, Holmes Young and Natasha. Mm. But I think maybe, you know... I like the idea of um, the the loser, the, the second place choosing a band hero, but even uh, maybe having one other that's put to like a popular vote. Oh yeah. So against all the top, so what have we got? All the top eight, the top eight winners. Well, no, even just them. the community, the IHXC community, just put it to a poll, and then whichever hero is chosen, you can't use. Interesting. Um, obviously, you, you'd take a measure like. Uh, you can't ban the same heroes twice. Mm-hmm. Uh, that way, you know, Carrie and Azrael don't get banned every single tournament. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying that's uh, like a temporary ban from tournament to tournament. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I think I think a temporary ban that forces people to adapt will keep it very interesting because I think uh, obviously we still have some variants from the the most recent tournaments, but we're starting to see, you know. Basically, every team has that Azrael, carry Sherlock, focus call. Yeah. Uh, and that's like, that was basically, you know, consistent throughout this whole tournament. I think having it so you have a temporary ban list of, you know, one hero chosen by second place and one from a popular vote, one it will bring the community in a bit more. Or, or uh, even, I've just had this idea. What if, ev- what if the top eight go and talk and between them, they put together eight heroes. Then we open it up to the community and the top three of those heroes to be nominated mm-hmm. are all banned. Yeah, I mean, I mean, even yet, yeah, three heroes would be even better, like mixing it up. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it's something that will serve to keep the tournaments fresh. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously... I think I think accounts have been established long enough that you know banning a hero like carry for a tournament isn't going to ruin anyone's chances. Yep. Like pretty much all. I think every there were no newcomers this tournament. No. So there's that. Uh, two other things. Mm-hmm. One, we've spoken about this a few times. Uh, prize for winning the tournament. Indeed. I have had to think about this, and it wasn't advertised, no. but I would like to do this, and I would like to do this with other tournaments as well. Um, yep. So we are going to be putting prize support online for the IHXC, which will A, drum up more people's interest, and B, obviously make it feel good to win. Uh, or even, I'd say even get to the yep. finals. Um, I would say that... I would say maybe a, a top three. Top three? I was gonna. I was just gonna do first and second place. That's what I was thinking. Um, of uh, you think? yeah. I, well, I, I think I think because it. I mean, you think of the person who makes it far and loses as well. I mean, we could do could do top three. Um, I think, about, I think uh, top three provides more like. If you just have a top two, people will stop watching. Well, they won't stop watching, but there'll be less interest once they know who the top two is. Yep. <laughs> uh so we've we've you've thought about implementing a prize. Can we assume it's Starry Gems? Yes, absolutely. It is Starry Gems. Um, so in future tournaments, we will give um, away Starry Gems. Yeah. The the totals will be decided, but they will be sizable. It will it will be in in the thousands of Starry Gems. Um, so if you're interested and you want to take part and you want to win some t- Starry Gems, that would be yeah. pretty fun. So it could be uh, like 2,000, 1,500, for example, for the top three. Yeah, that would work. Uh, um, or um, is... I guess you could you could even do like a, you know, like the, the like 
2500 the 1250 and then what like 750 500 whatever it is yeah yeah so definitely um, definitely things to think about yeah the last thing and this is more a community focused thing uh you may have noticed our intro and outro videos are a little bit outdated they're only from like the first and second ihxc are there any from the third one in there maybe i think so so <laughs> the, the point is um uh, uh, uh ruby has got a great question uh will this result in an entry fee for the ihxc no not at all not at all yeah yeah because i guess you want to keep it as something any free to play can join and if you pay, have to pay to enter the tournament then well, that and then it opens up a whole other can of worms with making profit off it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You've got now got the issue of, of of basically charging VAT on tournament entry or whether even tournaments yeah. are legal in some countries. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's a nightmare. So no, pay to enter is 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 complicated because it's, it's yeah, there's lots of yeah. legal problems. It's not going to happen. Anyway, that brings me back to the intro and outro. This is something else we've discussed and. I believe uh, turning it over to the community uh, to, you know, we've got, you know, so many amazing moments from recent IHXCs. Yep. Uh, we, you and I, Mark, have discussed this, um, making it a, a contest to make a new intro and outro sequence for the IHXC uh, and the winner receiving a prize. Um, which is not only do they get the, the video featured, but also more story gems. <laughs> Who doesn't yeah. love story gems? Um, so I mean, that's some a great prize. Yeah. Um, and I was thinking we could do that during the subathon as well, which is happening yeah. next week and it could push to the week after. Depends, depends how long people keep the subathon yeah. going. That's entirely on the community. But yeah. um, well, there's, a talent, could... there's a talent show planned. So uh, <laughs> if you want to submit an awesome uh, IHXC intro and outro video, but not There's for the talent show. That's best. that'll be a different. That'll be a different competition. Sure? Yeah, yeah. Because well, what, what do you mean? Some guy's cool. gonna do a hula hoop for ten minutes, and then we have to watch an IHXC entry video. <laughs> I don't know. I'd be pretty pumped to watch an IHXC entry video. That's fair. That's fair. But no, if, if people do want to do it, we'll uh, we'll we want, we'd love to see your submissions. And we've already seen videos get entered from the community as well, like D Dragon, for example, who made a YouTube mm -hmm. video about the IHXC just today. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Any, anything anything can is happen. that is that video posted in the discord or is it just sent to you uh i think it should be posted in discord um hopefully he did uh if not i i can i can make that happen um but yeah, yeah folks folks if um if all that stuff sounds great we would love for you guys to take part if you haven't already join our discord uh we will be doing all those things we'll, we'll put out advertisements and stuff um it'd be great if people even if you want to start getting editing now there's so much data out there uh there are many yeah. ways to download youtube videos i'm sure you don't need me to tell you how to do it um and for if you if you are curious about what music to use and how long it should be um any music available through epidemic sound is mm -hmm. is the license that i have that's the company that i get my audio license through so that's the sound i can use so if you are looking for epidemic sound you can found uh they have massive playlists on spotify um they have a youtube channel and uh, yeah, their, their sound is all available on their website as well for download. That's it. Um, that's it. So, all right. Yeah. And just to recap quickly, our winner for this tournament, if you're only just tuning in, uh, is Willy Wild Boy, taking it impressively after a wild rematch yeah. uh, with Mr. Wheels, who is our runner up. Um, it was it was well fought. Yes, Garuda proving clutch. Yeah, uh, it's it's nice to see Garuda get some steam. Really cool. I think it's the second win Garuda has in in one of these tournaments where she's been on the winning team, uh, which is cool. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely. A, I think Carrie Carrie once again as well. Car Car Carrie's in every team. I mean, Car Carrie's. A <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, Carrie, she's good. Um, I think Carrie will be finding her way on the temporary ban list. I think so too. I think I think maybe maybe with Sherlock. <laughs> I Possibly. think the two of them. I, I mean, think it might be it might be uh, it could be Carrie and Sherlock. I think it'll be Azrael potentially after after that tournament. Yeah, maybe Waldeck. Um, I think I think Waldeck. You can shut him down 
uh, a few different ways, but Carrie, she's just too fast. She does too much. She resurrects the bitch. Yeah. Um, it's nice to see Fiona not in the finals. Because Fiona, once she established herself in the IHXC, it became very much the fear that Fiona would just become another mainstay as well. So it's good to see her. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a question for you, uh, Mark. What time does the Sabathon start? Is it uh, just the normal time on Tuesday? I'm thinking 6 p.m. on Tuesday. So starting a little earlier so that we have more of the day until I have to sleep, which is my plan. Um, yeah. But I will need to get some work done in the morning. As I do, as I don't think the first thing I want to do on stream is edit a video. <laughs> yeah, no, not after last time. No account reviews straight up for this telethon. No, no. So we won't be doing account reviews on Tuesday. First thing, we'll be doing them uh, later on. Um, but yeah, um, but yes, that is indeed it, folks. Uh, now that the tournament is finished, turn your attention to the subathon. Yeah, we will Operation see Nag Mark Suffer. <laughs> you know, your- I. Um, I'm prime. sleeping on the sofa for this subathon, so each night I have to sleep. It's, it's gonna, I'm gonna get progressively worse. Back, I'll be, I'll be 40 years old in body why age. Is, why are you sleeping on the sofa, buddy? You have a perfectly good bed. Just be- set up your gimbal. Nah, but I don't. I don't. The thing is, I need my phone by me to tell me when I'm like, if anything bad happens, and if that's all on the other yeah. side of the screen, filming me sleep. So I thought I'll, I'll just sleep well, on the sofa. Got your cameras, you got. You'll be fine. Nah, don't I'm sleep. sleep. I, I, Sleeping health. No, I'll sacrifice my sleeping health all all fine. Uh, if, it, if, it, if it gets too bad, I could just go in the guest room, grab the mattress, and just shove it. On the that's probably that's probably a good idea to start with, honestly. Yeah. But anyway, uh, yes, save your subs, folks, because every single one will count. It will. It will. Fantastic, folks. We will see you next time, and the IHXC will return probably sometime around April, May. So keep your eyes peeled for that. If you haven't already, start an account. You have to just be able to have whatever artifacts you need. Artifacts are pretty easy to pick up nowadays. No treasure train, no star spawns. The hard part is stones. <laughs> As yeah, you've seen this tournament, it's always a problem. Dust is a nightmare, and and um, armor. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Give yourself uh, at least two to three months. That's it. Keep an eye out in the Discord for those uh, temporary ban lists and other details because I think what we'll, we'll try and implement them for next tournament. Yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get that to you probably. We'll probably get that done during the subathon. It's something else to do to take up time, so we'll, we'll yeah. get that done this week, and then you guys will be, be aware. If you want to join us, join us at twitch.tv forward slash mkxjump. I will be live for many, 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 many hours and uh, many, many days, most likely. So uh, last time we did a subathon was five weeks, so... Yeah, MKX Subathon 2.0, sponsored by Smears Cheese. You can get your cheese and shove it up. Yep. And I'll see you next time, guys! Goodbye! It's goodbye from me, and I think it's goodbye from Smeegs. It sure is. Bye, guys. Right. It's been a pleasure. Happy Ironling! Ticks, ticks active! Wow! Unimax is enraged, but he's doing nothing! Holmes is free! Uh, Holmes is free! Here that's it an comes. active skill! Is oh, the dove! Carrie dodge though, but she's taunted! Not doing- Oh, Unimax is dead, but it's- not. Nah, that's done. That's, that's done. Yeah. Oh my god. The Min oh, is down, down. But his Garuda has energy. Stewie's oh, doesn't. Oh, but did he get that? No, he didn't. Ooh. Holy crap! Big damage. If the carry comes back and locks it's... down the Garuda, carry's about to come back. That's enough deaths. She's here. Is she going to go first? She is. Does no. she get the mark? No! no she, she, didn't. she didn't steal the energy. It's going to be curtains. It is. Oh, oh wow. Garuda's going to get a massive active skill. Holmes is in the death zone. If Garuda's active skill hits Holmes, this is going to be so different. As long as Mim lives. Mim, petrifying. Big heal from Andrea. That's going to make a difference. But the active skill... Been dead, but Fiona's down. Oh, yeah, so no shields to worry about. Still healing from Andrea. We need to see a massive, massive active skill from Garuda. Absolutely everything rides here. It didn't crit. Oh, my word. But Holmes is still down anyway. This could be a draw. Unimax could clutch. If, if, if Andrea dies, Garuda heals. God. It could Jeez. be a draw. That 
That's it! It's a draw! Boktosh gets the win! Our first to move is the Nakia, slowing down the backline, which is awful for Tix as well. It's slowing him down even more. Oh my word. And there goes Tix. Yep, that's all, that'll do it. Cruz not even triggering again. And then here comes Holmes, who goes, yeah, don't worry, I'll target him. I'll dub him in the process so he doesn't trigger. Lots of dubs out there. Sarge are getting the kill. Already some damage hitting on BB there. BB's lost his Fiona. And now we're going to see a lot of damage over time here. Watch BB's team fall over. Yep. Oh, just exploded. Sherlock is going to have to clutch this, but here comes Garuda. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen.